Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our, I guess this is our true kickoff of our campaign for Bards of New York. I am so happy to be here with all of you and then also all of my wonderful friends for the first session that we have together. Before we start the campaign all together, we have a few announcements we want to make. So we're just gonna go through and make those announcements and then we are going to kick it off. So I will start. Uh, we are really excited to announce that we have our website is now live. The website is www.bardsofny, as in the letters, dot com. Uh, what's really exciting about this website is we are also launching a for hire DMing service. The three DMs are myself, Kyle, and Will. Uh, and you can go on. There's different prices, you set up an account, you talk to us, and if you ever wanted to try to play D&D and really didn't have anybody to start with, we are happy to teach you and help you and show you this wonderful world that we have found so much joy in. So uh, once again, that's www.bardsofny.com. Uh, and just a quick shout out uh, to Kyle's fiance and one of our moderators, Rachel. She helped us put together, actually she did the, all the heavy lifting of making the website and designing it. And so just uh, if you're in the chat, give her a big shout out uh, or in the comment section or anything. Uh, like us for Rachel, cause she's a badass. And now over to you, Kyle. Yeah, uh, basically all I'm announcing is that our, our streams are gonna be on podcast platforms fairly quickly within the weekend um, that they that they happen. Uh, you can find them on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and then a lot of the different niche podcasts uh, uh, networks that you can, that you would w want to use. Um, uh, but please, spe specifically for Apple Podcasts and, and anywhere you can give a review, please leave us a review. Uh, it does wonders for our self-esteem and it it helps us with uh, getting our getting our show out there. So please leave us a review. It can be honest, but I really hope that it's kind. Thank you. Over to you, Dan. Oh, hello. Um, uh, we're super excited. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Uh, we're super excited because, and I've actually I see people uh, I see people doing it already. Uh, we made a Twitch affiliate. Uh, even before all six of us got in the room together, which is Bonkers, New York, uh, my favorite suburb, and uh, not the time to drink. Uh, and so uh, what that means is that now uh, we would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to us. Um, it, is a, it is a way that we can you can be um, more involved with us. And we're in the future going to have different uh, tiers and different things that you can do if you subscribe. Uh, but right now, a really simple way to do it is if you actually can use your Amazon Prime account and it's free for you and it helps us and it's wonderful. Uh, and I've see, I see that two people have already done it. Uh, Kravec, I apologize if I did that wrong uh, or said that wrong. Sub uh, subscribe with Prime and then Buster4372, uh, uh, who, who we might know. Uh, uh, he subscribed at a first, at a tier one, which is, ooh, Mamma, mamma mia. Uh, and uh, great. That's all I have to. And yes, and we'll be adding things and we'll, we'll be uh, letting all you know about all that in what you get for subscribing that. But uh, right now, thank you for subscribing in general. It helps us tremendously as we are just starting our journey. And go ahead, Hannah. Well, um, 
I just want to announce, well, it's more of a thank you for all of you. Um, our Instagram, before we've even started our campaign, we have over 300 followers and we have all of you to thank for that. Um, and we are, we're blown away by the support and the momentum. And um, we just want to give you a, a big, big thank you. Our hope is that uh, when we get to 500 followers, we're able to do a little bit of a giveaway. So tell your friends to subscribe and follow us on Insta, and then you might get some cool shit. Uh, Drusif, your turn. Yeah, uh, continuing with the thank yous. Um, we also want to thank uh, the wonderful artists who let us use their music. And if you want to find out more about their work, check out the link in our about section. Over to Will. Uh, so we are, uh, it's our first session all six of us in a room, uh, virtual room, uh, beginning this adventure together. And as such, we are looking uh, and have begun the process of getting our party artistically rendered. Uh, I'm going to keep mum on some of those details until uh, we are further along the line. Uh, but sooner rather than later, uh, we're going to have some fabulous representations of these characters full on uh, to use both... Uh, out and about, and then specifically during the stream. Uh, during this stream and for the next couple of weeks, I would, I would imagine, you will see uh, token representations that we've all crafted for these characters. Uh, think of them as colorful little placeholders until the real deal comes our way. To that end, uh, if you are a visual artist, a digital artist, or an artist of any um, medium, and uh, are watching our show and feel like you want to uh, collaborate with us and create some art, uh, please, please, please reach out. We are looking to um, sort of build a network uh, of artists that we uh, like and, and trust and, and vice versa. Uh, and we'll, as time goes on, we'll be looking to feature as many artists as we're able to. So please uh, don't be afraid and shoot us a message. Right, I believe that uh, leads us to Woody. All right. Uh, so just to hit our rules, now that we're all together, uh, it feels like I'm actually saying for real this time is uh, respect each other, respect each other's characters, invest in each other's characters and each other's stories, uh, be creative, and let's have some fun, because now we're finally all together to play some D&D, so I'm stoked. Uh, cool, cool. Well, without further ado, let's start this campaign. As the camera pans down to the cliff of Camden Mesa, this two-tiered city it comes in and we arrive on this storehouse that's built on the side of a cliff. A elven woman and a short uh, dwarfkin woman are at the front of the door and the door is just slid open. And you are all there looking at each other. Lilith, you see Cora, who has her pulled back hair, frizzy, scars on her neck, golden eyes, kind of looking at you discerningly. discerningly. Hugh, with these kind, soft eyes, seeing you, small smile, you see two feline type humanoids in the back as the door slide opens they're seemingly bickering stops and they both look at you you see a covered in hay a little dirty hooded figure up in the the loft in the back of this storehouse looking down on you and you also see a leather clad handsome gentleman with his hair pulled back just sitting and leaning there's a silence for a moment. And Cora speaks up. She goes, is uh, this who you brought? Oya, who brought you, Lilith, says, yeah, and um, I also got some news. So if you and Hugh want to come and uh, talk with me for a second, I can give you some news and let them get acquainted. Uh, they kind of look around and Hugh nods and says, all right, he looks tall, you uh, talk amongst yourselves. We'll be back in a moment. 
and they walk outside of the barn, leaving the five of you standing there. Yes, you lovely, lovely human person, human, not really, um, person, can you please explain to this, this man that if you walk outside with an umbrella and it's sunny out, it's called a parasol. Doesn't I, make any, that doesn't make any sense. I, I've been trying to explain it, but he is ludicrously not understanding. I don't appreciate it when you um, call me ludicrous. I'm um, not a fan. This seems like a lover's quarrel that I don't want to get into. Um, who are all you people and why are you also here? Do you know what's going on? Probably for the best, darling. My name is Ember. These are uh, our fellow compatriots, and we are apparently being hired for some sort of mission. Mission? I'm honestly not sure. So you're Ember, and these are your bandmates? Who are you? Yes, this, these are my bandmates. This is my bassist. What? Very good. Uh, over, over in the corner is the uh, flutist, the flautist. Flautist. And this lovely young gentleman sitting here is our percussion. I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. I am. Who? Okay. S speak slower, perhaps? Right. Um, this one's not all caught up on common, right. um, so I apologize. I, I will speak slower. These are people. They can introduce themselves. Uh, what, you mentioned uh, um, Umbrella, yes? Yes. Uh, please describe. It's oh a, it's an object. Do you want, do you want the description of the object or the, the usefulness of the object? Because I can give you many different things. Use. Use is preferred. You walk outside. It's raining. You don't want rain to hit your head. So you use a barrier of sorts to block it. It kind of snaps open. It's called an umbrella. Why not just stick with cloak? More reliable. Fair. You have a point. Well, uh, I'm what's, not, I'm, what's your I'm not name? Here what's your name, little one over there? Callias. Oh, nice to meet you, Callias. I'm Lilith. Uh, li likewise. Li likewise. I, I thought your name was Callias. Ah, yes, I didn't know you. It's because she said nice to there. meet you. Oh, sorry. And your name is Nervous One in the corner? Leonidas Goldspear the second. Oh, that's a mouthful. Yes, there's two of them. What? Oh. Uh, okay, and uh, you, Silent One, who's sitting on the table over there. I'm Ryujin. I'm... Just a little confused on what's going on here, but uh, that's why I'm a little silent. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we're also, all confused, except for this one with the, uh, the, the tail, the kitty tail. I I'm see quite confused. I'm just also a tad bit drunk from this morning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, where are our uh, captors or whatever they're called? The people who are giving us this job? Are you all in need of money as well? What? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Where were you tripped up? Was it the money or was it captors? Do you speak a lot of the common tongue there, little one? No. Oh. I, I start to speak to him, Woody. I start to speak to him in Dragonborn. 
Okay. Draconic. And draconic. Draconic. Yes. draconic. Sorry. Draconic. <laughs> yes. Not in dragon. In dragon. <laughs> in dragon. Uh, I start to speak to him. I start to speak to him in uh, draconic. I say, um, "Do you understand what I'm saying now? If I speak a bit quicker." Oh, oh, uh, I take a big old breath. Uh, y- yes, yes, that's much better, much better. Please, uh, we can keep doing this, yes? Do they all? Do you all? I, I, I don't know. I've just met them as quickly as you did, but... I do. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Ryujin and Draconic says, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um... I do you speak any other languages? I don't oh. speak guttural. Uh, hey, it's not guttural. Excuse uh, me. Yes, it I, absolutely is. It's not an insult. I will slide into Elven cautiously. Oh, thank God. Oh, hello yes. there. Okay, so we can all understand can each other this. eventually. Yes. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> well, we've gotten over this hurdle. Okay. <laughs> I don't okay. understand. I don't understand. Um, so are we leveling up, guys? Come on, level two, right? <laughs> Milestone. That was level one. <laughs> was level one. Ooh, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> uh, so we, I can speak like this to you, like this, and then to you, not, maybe. I, 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 yeah, we could all speak common. Um, but we'll I don't teach think you common you as we go understand. along. Yeah, we'll teach Please. you common as you go along. Yeah, but for now, if you need to ask any of us a question, ask them the dragon tongue, ask mm-hmm. us the elven tongue. Or you can, and you know what? What's great is that now you can talk behind some of our backs all the time and we'll no, no see, idea what you're saying. I'm going to be honest. I don't like that. As a, as a child, um, my family... You're a child. Uh, as a child. <laughs> as a child. You. Well, that's what f- friends do, is it not? Are we friends? I just met you. Oh, oh well, I. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't. Um, no, I'd like to be no. a, a friend. I'm. Yes. Wow. This is I going start, to be very entertaining. I start looking around for the two people who brought us here, try just looking for anything to to get me out of this conversation. <laughs> Yeah, just at that point, as you guys, that conversation kind of lulls, you have noticed that the door is slid open, and the only person who has now entered is Hugh. Uh, Oya and Cora have gone somewhere else, seemingly. Uh, Hugh walks in and looks at you all and says, All right, um, the. Cora and Oya had to take care of some business, so I'm here to uh, fill you in on why you're all here now that we have a uh, seemingly complete team. So if you could all just arrange yourselves accordingly and we could, I'll fill you in. So Ember, Ember does a little uh, turn around himself and stays in the same exact spot and, said, and then just kind of smiles. Good. <laughs> um. So, first things, uh, if uh, you uh, you go by Lilith. Hi. Hi. Um, my name's Hugh, um, Hugh Thornton, and I am we- um, one of your, I don't like using the word employer, let's call me a, a team leader. Um, so, well, our job that we have for you is uh, many phases. It is, at the end of it, we are building a expedition for to go on to a somewhere in the desert. And we ask you to help us assist in this expedition. Um, just some background. Uh, I, when I was at school um, up in the Citadel, I came across some writings of a underground passageway that would lead to an supposedly ancient tomb. Now, this tomb houses uh, supposedly a mythological king who was buried there. And with that, 
many riches. So if you're all hurting for some money, uh, of course we would split at the end of the day. Uh, um, yes, yes, uh, questions anytime, uh, Mr. Mir. Uh, money, what do, uh, what is its use? Yes, I uh, forgot. Uh, you take little pieces of uh, precious material and you can trade it for uh, things you want. Understand? Uh, gems. Th that is a form of currency, rather, rather raw, but a form of it, yes. And do you always take it from people's pockets after you are done with them? Oh, um... Or is that not how... No, 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 um, it's... If, if, I mean, this is getting into some moral gray areas, um, if there is a person and you are um, defending yourself, I'll try to keep this positive, defending yourself and you succeed in defending yourself at the cost of their well-being, then I don't know, they're not going to use what's on their person. Uh, maybe if, if you were really altruistic, you would uh, give it to their family, if they have any, um, or just take it for yourself, find us keepers. Yes. Now, there's Sorry. also a part of that that involves not killing the person and just kind of sneaking by and taking what's in their pocket. I, I feel as though that's quite less bad. Or we, or we could kill the person. Or we can just kill them. Wow, what a group. <laughs> um, right. Good. Well, uh, yes. And so this uh, mythical king, uh, supposedly in my research, is uh, Thelicus. Um, have you, any of you heard of this king? Uh, I don't know. Have we? If you can roll me a history check, I'll let you know if you know anything. Oh. That's... Would be a 17 from Kalias. 19 from the kitty cat. It's wow. a, a 14, 14 from the other kitty cat. What did Ryujin get? 17. 17? 14. Wow, guys. Good rolls all around. Good group roll. Okay, Good well, start. Uh, nice. you guys have all at least know the basic. Uh, you guys know that uh, Thelicas is was a mythological king and he had three heirs. Um, there's some like very old like songs and rhymes about him, but you would know that he apparently he was a, a great king who united the southern half of Cordia under his rule uh, many, many, many hundreds of years ago uh, and was of elven de descent. That's what you get with those. Yeah, T-H-E-L-E-K-A-S. I was so close. One one L, man. One L is all it takes. <laughs> one L is all Pelicas. it takes. Uh, yep. Yeah, so you guys, uh, like, here's like kind of a, I would say along the lines of like King Arthur to us, mm. if you wanted a, a comparison. Mm, okay. okay. So this, uh, this writing I found is speaks of these tunnels that lead to the tomb. Um, now, are there any questions, or can I move on? Uh, so you're saying this this guy was real? I thought he was a myth. Well, that's 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 the interesting thing is we don't know. Um, these writings that I found, which were buried under years and years and years of uh, parchment and stone at the citadel, uh, spoke as if. He was real, and, uh, well, uh, we've also found these tablets, and he look, points over to the table, kind of over on the side of the storehouse, and there's these two triangular tablets. One has a purple amethyst gem embedded into it, and the other one's just flat. Uh, the people who recognize them would be Callias. You would recognize the one with the gem, Ember, you recognize the one with the gem, and um, Leonidas, you recognize the flat one 
as the tablets that you guys saved in your one-offs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, th we understand that these tablets are connected somehow to the tunnel system and to get to the tomb. So that is our step one. Um, is locating, because we believe there are three tablets, and locating the third tablet. Any questions, or should I move on, class? Well, I just have one question, if that's yes. okay. Mm -hmm. What happens if we get to the end of wherever we're going and there's nothing? How do we get paid still? Well, we need some insurance. Um, we, of course, are, are backing. Um, I have a considerable amount of funds. Um, that I would dip into in that case. Uh, if not, uh, there is other ways that we could repay you. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a bit of a risk. Uh, if there is nothing, you may waste these next few months searching for just a hole in the ground. If Really uh, great sales pitch. Great. I, well, no, uh, I, I, can't yeah, waste, I can't waste a month. His, Darling, his... I'm sure you could waste a year and no one would mind. Shut up. Yes. Um, here's the the bit of the, the stinger that kind of makes me believe that there would be something, at least of great value there. It is the tunnels lead to the edge and I believe into the seraphic tear. Hmm. hmm. Now, I understand that's quite dangerous. Uh, however, I believe if we were to find these tunnels and enter the tear, it'd be much safer and manageable than if we were to try to uh, descend from the cliff and try to enter the tear from the surface. What? You know, do you speak go, go, Elvin Linus. and or Draconic? Draconic. I, oh. I, I heard, I just don't... The tear? Yes. Um, the, the tear is a... How do I put this? Uh, plainly. Oh, and I can speak Elvin, so I'll, I'll switch. Um, switching Wait. to Elvin. Oh. oh. Um... <laughs> And he sees you kind of put like, oh, shoot. Uh, he kind of switches back to comments like, I'll fill you in just for our friend Callias. Um, and Elvin. The Seraphic Tear is a area of great magical anomaly. There have been many an expedition who had tried to enter it, but none of them have returned. It is a incredibly massive gorge to the north, uh, north east, northwest of here. Um, and it's pretty hard to miss. Um, I believe you and my you and my sister came from the sea, so you did not see it. But it is a land of great arcane mystery, and also, in a lot of people's opinion, great treasure. Uh, sort of arcane mystery and questionable magical potential. Uh, Callias just tugs their hood further around their shoulders, down over their brow a bit, before looking back up. Uh, th thank you. Thank you. And then he fills it in, the rest of that in, in English, for, or common for you, Leonidas. So it is quite a dangerous job, but... In my very well-educated opinion, it will be worth it. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm of the mindset that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, so I definitely am in uh, the search to become a little stronger, so I, I love the adventure, so I'm in. And if it means money... Um, well... <clears throat> Just to get the business aside, just so you understand the um, accord we are all reaching, any treasure that we find throughout our adventure will be split evenly among us. 
in the subsequent days leading up to it, or months leading up to it, if you find any treasure, you can pocket it and it is yours. Uh, we encourage you to use it as a group while you are all together. Uh, and if you find any, once we're there, or even on the way, I'll, I'll even say that, if you find any magical or powerful artifacts, um, those can also be evenly distributed amongst us just after I uh, analyze them for a moment. Mm. Okay. Is that cordial? Sounds fair to me. This is Cordia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, good one. Um, you don't have to. All right. I thought that was not. <laughs> I know you did. So I don't, uh, I don't need you to sign anything because if you ever feel like it's too much for you, or you can absolutely turn around and leave. But um, you are more than welcome to stay here. Um, you can also go and find other lodgings somewhere else within the city. Um, as long as you just kind of keep us updated and posted about it. And then uh, we can go on to our first order of business if you are all. Let's go. Please. All right. I'll take that all as a, a, a group yes. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, first thing we need to patient of that third tablet. Have gained some information that there is a courier entering the city tonight at night who would bring information. And we believe this courier belongs to the Longhorn Gang, a particularly nasty group of people. I believe uh, we've already had a few run-ins. Uh, Leonidas, you and I had the run-in with the Longhorn Way here from the outpost. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we believe that they are in possession of said tablet, or at the very least know where it is and are working for it because they have tried to take these two tablets from us. Um, just going over my notes here. Um... So the associate will be here, or courier, will shoot into the city from the road uh, around midnight. And we're not sure if that's they arrived to the safe house at midnight or into the city at midnight, but we need to figure out where, and we need to, we need to tail the courier to this safe house because I believe that will also give us information. And then we also need to get information um, where we can find the Longhorns uh, base of operation uh, and if they have the tablet, and if they don't, or if they, or if they do, where said tablet? And that is the mission, if you choose to accept it. <laughs> what is that a reference to? A, a book I read. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, so, I enjoyed that, you. I'll say. So I need to go and do a... Uh, yes, uh, we need to stake out. Unfortunately, we do not know where this safe house is. I assume it's probably in Lower Camden. However, we don't know exactly where. So we need to locate this courier, which shouldn't be too hard. Longhorn Gang uh, rather shows their cut well. And we just need to be smart about it. He's Longhorn. They are distasteful, or do they yes. just also seek uh, money? Uh, both. They, I mean, we all seek some sort of wealth, have it be something. Uh, but these are rather nasty about it. Uh, the, they have been in the uh, thorn in my side for quite some time, ever since I arrived here, and even before that as well. Uh, we do have a little bit of a history with them. Um, well, Cora does, but I do not. So. So we could hunt them? 
I believe it would come to that. That's why we had located these individuals of rather imp impressive talents. And from there, we can uh, protect ourselves and gain the information that we seek. Right. Yes. So until then, uh, I would say at the, what's near the Cottonmouth Saloon is rather near to the uh, Southern Road that leads to Camden Wharf. Uh, so we can meet there in uh, around 10, and begin our time from there. Uh, but until then, you have the day to yourselves, and I would encourage you, now that you are all together, to get uh, to know the city a little bit. Uh, a large city with lots to offer. So uh, if you have any questions about the city, I could point you in a direction, or if you want to go look somewhere specific, I could point you in a direction, but I would encourage some uh, exploration of Camden itself. Is there like a tourist office where we can get a brochure or something? Oh, mm -hmm. um, no, uh, not that I know mm. of at least. Uh, there is a, a notice board up by the High Gate, which is up in Upper Camden, but um, other than that, no, we just do. There's, there's a rather nice art district as well um, in Upper Camden as well that I will find the time. Is there a, um, a, a, a weapon shop? Yes. Uh, Camden's actually known for its uh, smithies and tinkerers and armorers and such. Uh, I would, if you really want to see one of Camden, Camden's greatest uh, areas, is the uh, Widgetist's Way, uh, which is a um, street uh, lined with just shops of uh, tinkerers and inventors and uh, smiths of any kind, and they are always uh, vying to who can impress them. Uh, so I would, if you want to see something in what Camden's really known for, is our uh, Tinkerers Guild that exists within here, and that it would be located, most of that is located along Widgetist's Way. Okay. Thank you. That as well as in Upper Camden. Um, if you want to do a little bit of a cheaper shopping, there is the Fleas Market, uh, in Lower Camden. I'm sorry, uh, you're muted. Are we starting our first episode as a shopping episode? Is that happening? <laughs> I don't know. It's not really a shopping episode. I just want you guys to get to know the city a little bit, to have a chance to explore. Well, and then... I would love to sightsee. Let's, let's yeah, go. A sight, let's, let's go, go to the, the art district. district. Not a shopping. It's more of a window shopping arts district. Uh, sightseeing episode. Is this like a team building thing? Do we need to go to a museum together? Let's go to a museum. Everybody oh, grab museum. everybody else's Let's wrists and try to, to untangle yourselves as swiftly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's we where we're at today. Yeah, that's where we should go. He's one of those camp, camp like the camp counselors yeah. is like, yeah. all right, we're gonna go canoeing today, guys. Holds oh, out like a can... giant parachute, like everybody grab on. <laughs> we could go bar <laughs> hopping. Gym. We could go bar hopping. Ooh, you you had know, a drink at be... every pub. Are, are there only like two? I look, at, I look at Ember and I say... It won't take us long. I say, Ember, that is uh, something that I think we can agree on for once in our time knowing each other. I pull out my bottle of whiskey and I'm like, you guys want to get a head start? Oh my God. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I just sort All of right. look around, look, watch the like declamation of beverages uh, before I, I sidle up to Ryujin. Um, I do not mean to be rude, but your water is brown. It's not quite water. Um, would you like to try some? Ah. I just sort of look around at the other three. How old are you? What do you mean? Just try it, it's fine. Okay. I hand you the bottle. Uh, Slowly. I'll, 
that slowly, I'll just sort of shoot a look over that way and take a swig of it as if it was water. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, all right, you're just taking a swig. I'm not gonna have you roll. It's not like you're you're. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the taste hits your mouth, and this is a rather rich whiskey. It. I'm, you maybe think you've swallowed some venom of some sort. I would say it's like what like, in Callias's yeah. mind. What he assumes. Uh, I will immediately spit it out and hold the bottle at arm's length at you, speaking only in, in Elven. What are you trying to do? I just met you. I'm going to take the bottle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a swig myself. Well, first I'm going to say, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. And I'm taking a swig myself. <coughs> Why? What? Why are you doing that? It's, it's good. No, and it leads to fun times. What? Oh, uh, sweet one, it takes a little. If that was your first time, you know, it takes a little toll to, you know, get a palate for it. Try now, now imagine. I have having... to drink more of that to like it. Imagine having. Yes, I would say the, bottle. the, the first sip tastes bad. The the tenth sip tastes good, and the twentieth sip tastes like nothing. And then, and then, okay. what happens is, and then you die. Uh, no, no, no. Then you fight. People. So it is. No, no, um, no, no. It's just, just don't slower. Do it. It's not meant it's to just, yeah. at a different it's speed than everything else. You know, you know what? Yes. No. It is a die slow poisoning. From it. <laughs> I, I this is it helping? To, I go up to uh, I go up to Clyde and I and in Draconic, so I say, "Look, it's 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 meant as a as a celebration of liquids." <laughs> so you drink okay. it. It might not taste good, but it makes you feel good. Okay, we. It's it's meant to raise your spirits. Yes, we had something like that. But, and it tasted bad, but was a happy thing. But you only ever drank it one time. So this is okay. As long as I'm not going to die now. So I, the brown bottle. No, you won't die. You won't die. I mean, unless Ryujin's poisoned it and then you both will die. I have not poisoned it. Insight check. <laughs> Inconceivable. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, Regen. Uh, you, you Regen's telling the truth. Sabotage. Character dead. Session one. <laughs> TPK. <laughs> Regen is the bad guy. Well, um, I think we have two choices. We can take this little one here to the pubs and educate them on the finer things of drinking or we can go to some museum and stand around till our backs hurt oh, oh and then oh, we'll oh, be uncomfortable oh. tonight me 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 pick me yes you we do the drinking and then the museum it makes the museum so much better i have to warn all of you if i get too drunk i will punch all of you i've had a lot of problems with fighting and I've been kicked out of a lot of different places and I'm really trying to work on it. Well, uh, and Hugh speaks up. If there is a place that is um, cool with that, it would be the Bricks, which is uh, a, a large tavern and inn located along the uh, mud lane. I know is... where it is. It's where I'm staying. Oh. So it's uh, rather rough, but uh, they have, uh, I believe, a, a pit where if you wish to test your metal against any drunkard, you could do so. I'm in. Oh. 
Okay, well, uh, if you're looking for us, uh, Hugh, is that your name? Hugh? Yes, Hugh, yes. If you're looking for us, we'll be at Bricks or at the museum. And we'll see you tonight. All right. Well, uh, I will see you at uh, 10 p.m. at Cottonmouth. Gross. Cool. See you soon. Goodbye. Yeah, I know. I, I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's, it's a... like, <sighs> it's the worst. And like a, a, a field trip school teacher, I'm ushering everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys slide the doors open uh, and you see all of lower Cam Camden below you. Uh, you see the large kind of clock tower looking building of the, off in the distance of the cult of the wild hunt. You see just a bunch of ramshackled buildings all kind of piled together. You really get the sense that lower Camden wasn't originally part of the city when it was first built it was continually added on and added on and has grown out quite a ways. There is a small, almost lake in the center where the waterfall comes down of the river that runs through the city. That's where a lot, that's where the, the mud lane exists because of the uh, wetness and the red clay dirt. Um, and there's just that mud over everything. And as it goes further out, there's less and less of that. Uh, mud and more of the dust. Uh, there's one bridge that goes over it, uh, very aptly named Bridge Street. It is a large bridge. There's always some kind of sellers selling some kind of trinkets or food or hawking any kind of thing. You also know down on the other side of Lower Camden, there is Flea's Market, which is a open air stalls where people just go and sell their wares and you can barter with them uh, but it is known to have a few pickpockets every once in a while but the bricks is located on mud lane which is just on the other side of the pond from you as you guys walk along the the cliff road that runs across camden mesa and there's different switchbacks you can go down to get down into the streets just lean in towards uh, Leonidas and whisper in Draconic. This is big, fairly big. Are they all this big? Yes, it's okay. <laughs> you stick with me, I like you. I take care of you. I was okay. sort of like stray between like wavering as, as to whether I want to pull away from Leonidas's orbit or get closer into it. So I'll just stay exactly put and sort of shift on both feet. As okay. I go. Awesome. So where are you heading? Uh, to the bricks, right? The bricks. 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 All right. Just want to double check. All right. So you guys move your way down. You find the first switch back, which will lead you to there's alleyways and small streets everywhere but there are uh, the number of big streets and those are the ones that are really named uh you get down to clay alley which is you notice that as you get down the switchback it's a lot of craftsmen and um masoner masonry and uh uh coopers just kind of your basic cra craftsmen uh, as you move through it you get down to the small pond to the river and it gets a little bit more of slightly residential. There's a couple restaurants or places to eat uh, as you move along the river, but everything just kind of seems like if it's a restaurant, it also seems like it's where they live. It's a very, just, they make it work in this lower part of the city. As you move across the bridge, the, the day it's getting more closer to midday and you move up, as you enter Mud Lane, it is uh, dingy. The ground beneath you is stacked with these wooden um, pallets just to keep you sinking into the mud. And so the, the pathways are this kind of winding bits of these 
wooden planks laid down that people just kind of navigate through and move through. The The smell is earthy, but there's also just from all of the craftsmen and industry, there's a slight acrid sense to the air, but it is overwhelmingly earthy. Just every once in a while, you get kind of a of this sour acrid smell. You move down through me, uh, Mud Lane, and you turn and the roar of the waterfall is starting to become louder and louder. And sounds of the city, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Uh, where am I? There I am. You get to this, push right up against the cliff. As you come almost behind the waterfall, you see that there's a large dome kind of from the erosion kind of cut out of it. And there seems to be a lot of movement going on in there, but uh, you can't really tell which because of the mist in this area. But you get to this small stone building uh, pushed up against the side of the cliff and in a rather beat up sign swinging right above it is just a painting of a brick. Clever. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, Callias, that's your name, right? I say in Elven. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Do you want to drink more of the... <laughs> Sorry, gang. Somebody's <laughs> upsetting spaghetti <laughs> in the <laughs> street. It's, it's <laughs> adding to like the city ambiance. Let's just say that. Uh, it works, let's it works. pretend it's in Camden Mesa. <laughs> Camden. Yeah, there's a lot of horns yeah, everywhere. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot of traffic in Camden Mesa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the mud. State um, brass band. Are you... I don't want to, to make you have to drink anything, but if you want to keep trying stuff until you find something you like, we can uh, facilitate that. Well, um, you did say that it takes uh, 20 tastes. So I have had one by my mm-hmm. count. So I have to go through 20 more for it to taste a little bit better or, or to not taste it. So I think I at least owe it to to that, yes? Well, today, let's, you, you had some whiskey. Let's take a step back, shall we? Um, and we're gonna have you have some some ale or maybe some wine just to just to start dipping dipping our toes into the pool. No, I think you'd like wine. I think you'd like like a summer wine. Let's try yeah. that. I don't know what they have it here, but we can we can try. Okay. Uh, I'm a fairly good swimmer, so if I dip my toes in, I should be able to. No, that didn't. I, you know, I, it was almost there. I, it's, it was almost there. It's really <laughs> nice to know, though. I'm, I'm my, myself, not a good swimmer. <laughs> good. Uh, we can uh, exchange. You can teach me common, and I can teach you how to swim. Better. No, you oh, know how to um, swim. No, I, I'm. I don't want to swim. That's so kind of you. Uh, um, let's go in and get drinks. Just walking. Oh, okay, I'm just, sorry. <laughs> a quick side note, I, just an observation. I feel like Callias, who's that character from Animorphs? The, oh, the, the my alien God. prince? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're, you're this Cinnabon? close to being like, Cinnabons! <laughs> <laughs> I just was brought back to reading Animorphs. Yeah, that's that absolutely the right avenue. <laughs> oh my took God. you right back to it, yeah. um, which I'm oh, guys such loving. nerds. Okay. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. You read Animorphs. Uh, if anyone hasn't, you just just do it. Just, yeah. just, just, just take a yeah. just take a weekend. <laughs> and then they're scary. They're kind of scary. This episode y'all. Is sponsored little, by Animorphs. But so iconic. Yeah. Okay. Animorphs, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Yeah, Animorphs, <laughs> friend of the show. Friend of the show. <laughs> they're doing a crossover with Madagascar. I promise you, it's going to be great. Oh, when it comes oh out. no, we're bringing them back. Julian as an Animorph. Oh, take me away. Oof. <laughs> we what? We enter bricks. Okay. Into bricks. <laughs> okay, you guys uh, push through the kind of saloon double doors. Uh, there's no music. It's the ceiling is decently low. Uh, for any of our people who are maybe over six feet, there's a little bit of claustrophobia coming from it. How tall are you, Leonidas? Uh, oh, please. 
Uh, close to seven feet, definitely. Okay. No, that's not true. I think six four, six four, six four. Okay. Well, the, it's about an eight foot ceiling, so it's it is a little <gasps> on you, but it's not too bad. Sorry, six ten. Okay. Never oh, mind. six ten. Okay. So you you feel like if you did a good jump, you would hit your head. <laughs> but oh, great. as you enter okay. in, there's a lot of mixed sorts there. Uh, not a lot of like jovial talking. There's a couple small groups just kind of held together, together with these tankards of this brown liquid. In the back, you see this half orc with this long braided beard uh, behind a bar. And then in the, the back, where actually you notice the room is bigger, like, like area wise, a lot bigger than it looks like on the out teams. Some of it, about half of it is built into the cliff. The sandstone has been scraped and carved away. And actually here is where you see the mud pit. Uh, as you guys kind of make your way through and kind of just take everything in, you see this pit, it's a circular pit. Uh, there's nobody in it right now, but you see there's like maybe a bit of broken glass here in it, but it looks like very deep mud. And there's just a couple dudes. There's one really big hairy dwarf, not wearing a shirt, just big old beer gut, just kind of like sitting on a booth, which is more of just a bench next to the wall. And he kind of sees you guys and he's like, spits on the ground and into the pit as he's just looking at you. I pull my hood over my head as far as it would literally go. At, at more than that. Cover, but just huddled in it. I, I go up to Calais and I go, no, no, no. Yes. No, please. You'll be fine. Look, I'll watch after you and you watch after me. If I look like I want to punch someone, let me do that. Okay. And I will make sure that no one punches you. You Good. don't have to do that. It's 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 fine. But oh, thank all you. Right. All right. But I'm going to keep my hood very just like Parker in the winter. I walk up to the bar and to the uh, bartender. Uh, do you have wine? Oh. Like a sweeter wine. I'm introducing some some strong drink to a friend who hasn't had a lot of it, and I don't uh, want to turn them off of it. No, uh, we got we got brown water. Oh no! We no, got no, no. clear water, and <laughs> we got the hard stuff. Okay. Um, so it, I'm just just to make sure, just to be very clear, so that my my darling friend here does not um, order what she does not want. The hard stuff. You're still talking about alcohol, right? Ah. Uh, okay. Good. Good. Continue. Question: What is the brown water? Uh, brown water is uh, go like kind of over his shoulder. Uh, so that bottle. Uh, it's just this big old. Uh, Oh, it sounds like um, the, the, uh, the, 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 the fucked up hormone monster. It does sound like <laughs> the fucked up hormone yeah, great. <laughs> What are you going to do? What are you to do? Right. Good first session. I'm, uh, I'll head out. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> that that will be it for me, Bug. Brown war. Clear war. And hard stuff. Um, mm. out of your lovely hard selection stuff. oh yeah. Jesus I'd like a round of hard stuff for everyone doing that alright that's uh he count he's like one two three four five uh that's gonna be uh, a gold piece for all of you what does anyone have money I, I have do some money. I, I, I can I can pay for this Oh, you've got the booze and the money. I see now. Okay. I I I flick him a gold piece, like a cool dude. You know, it just kind of <laughs> like bounces off his chest. Why did you do that? 
uh, reaches <laughs> down and grabs it. He kind of looks at it for a second and does like the classic bite. Goes over, takes these four smaller tankards. They're not like this massive steins like you saw with the other people drinking. They're these like kind of smaller handheld, uh, like a large dram, if you will. A rocks glass. Let's just say it's a wooden rocks glass. And pours this, it's like a golden liquid, but there are, there's stuff floating in it. This is the hard stuff? This is the hard stuff. Oh, boy. <laughs> Protein. And it, it's only exactly from the heart. It protein. It's this ceramic, <laughs> this like ceramic jug that he first has to shake up a little bit. Goes, may oh, I? Oh, oh. May may I? When I inspect the uh, the pieces, what do do they look? Organic, um, insectoid. Um, <laughs> roll me mold. I would say an investigation check. I'm gonna say not a medicine. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, if I will take an argument for medicine, yeah, I would just, love it to stay as investigation because my medicine's a zero. The booze isn't pasteurized, don't you know? You know that pasteurized <laughs> liquor. <laughs> investigation or medicine? Uh, let's go with uh, your choice, Sophie's choice. Investigation. Nope. 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 Is that nine? nine. Ladies, choice. I mean, it's nine. An, okay. A nine. Nine, nine yeah. total. I, you don't, you can't really tell. It's it, it's small. It's like protein. <laughs> it's protein. You don't just, think just it would get stuck in your teeth? It. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't look like it's gonna get like like ooh crunchy, but it you'll feel it in your mouth. <laughs> but he takes this big jug and goes oh, oh oh and like pours a serving into each of yours and, like, and just kind of pushes them all towards you. Is his voice just uh? Tom Hardy from Peaky Blinders. A little bit, yeah. Little yeah, bit. duh. <laughs> Fuck, duh, dude. <laughs> but no, like, not like, as not as weird. I like Rick from uh from Big yeah, Rick from it's like Rick. it's they meet. It's where they meet. Uh, uh, a Morge. A crossover we oh, never asked Morge. for, but we need <laughs> <laughs> Big Mouth Peaky Blinders crossover. Hell yes, I'm in for it. Uh, 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 uh thing else. No, thank you so much for all you. What? Oh, wait, hold on. Um, oh? the pit over there. How does that work? Oh, uh, it's yeah. Usually, just uh, throw somebody in there and start hitting them. Sounds good. All right. Uh, uh if you wanna, uh, if you wanna make it official, as person uh, who I can call for you, and they'll come and you can place bets and stuff. No, I'd well, I'd like to fight someone, but that'll be later. Oh, 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 oh. oh. and just kind of goes over to the other side of the bar. I'll go sit down over at that table and we can continue this team building exercise. I just, I, Sitting Ember down. sniffs his glass and is kind of just like really skeptical. It, at a smell, it doesn't smell bad definitely strong but not necessarily like you can tell that there is some sort of like it's going to have a flavor and it's not necessarily <laughs> rubbing alcohol but it's going to clear out your sinuses i, I um, turn to Callias and i say darling if you don't want to start with this we would all absolutely understand leonidas drinks the whole thing okay uh you down it yes I watch him down it and down it. <laughs> or try to. I know I thought I had issues. So you both go, you just kind of go, just shoot it. And I'm not sure if Clyde is as graceful as that, but he's <laughs> certainly going to try and mimic what it goes down as it Leonidas trickles does. down. <laughs> uh, it is spicy, is the best word I'll use. Like if. Fireball was tequila, and you also threw in like really, really strong kombucha. Um, That's kind of the flavor. So kind of that vinegary, but then like the like the liquor of it kind of burns. You make your eyes water a little bit. Uh, 
you're not sure if this meant to be shot or sipped. You, you don't know. <laughs> Leonidas uh, drinks it, slams it down, and then roars. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So you, you go to, and it's like maybe almost people think it's a belt, but it's like Wah! like kind of shaking it off. <laughs> Hell yeah, How I love many it. Sips. Did that count for? Let's just say eight. Oh. I uh Kalias, since this is your first time drinking, I want you to roll me a constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I assume that. Back Bill, home. you had a you had a backup character, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, that's a sixteen. Sixteen? Okay, you you. It, it's as you drink it, it's like a <laughs> kind of feeling, and like sure. eyes are definitely watering, and it's cough a little bit, but you keep it down, and like it, like you feel it in your stomach, but you're not. It doesn't necessarily go to your head yet. Ah, better than sip one. <coughs> good. A little. Uh, good. Ow. <coughs> that's normal. Don't worry about that. That's uh, that's pretty par for the course there. And people, is this a Camden? thing that people do it might just be a bricks thing i really hope that we can show you better alcohol we we did absolutely come to the wrong place first i would say but uh lesson learned or the exact right place because there's nowhere but up from here yeah very true positive i like it Mm -hmm. leonidas leonidas just all of a sudden he just stands up yes and he looks around the room. Seen this before. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. What are you looking for, Leonidas? Uh, I think he's looking, he's looking if someone is looking back at him in the way that he is <laughs> looking at them. <laughs> Can you describe the look though? <laughs> yeah. Do the look for I'll do the look for all of you. No, describe it. Describe it for describe those that are it? just listening. Oh, just for those oh, that are listening those only that to the listening. audio. Uh, it's, it's a snarl, but with no teeth. So it's kind of... <laughs> Angry retirement home snarl. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me there is another person on the other side of the bar doing the exact same <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's why he... It's why he makes that face because he doesn't think anyone's gonna make that face. He knows what to make. Roll me a percentage make. die. A percentage die? Yeah. Oh boy. Which is your tens and your ones. Yeah. You know. You know. You've I been know. playing. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. 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 What'd you get? Ninety nine. Oh shit. Okay. You you stand up, and it's like. No, no, no teeth, around. no teeth, no teeth, no teeth, like just like oh, eyes wide, and you lock eyes with this other dragonborn. Let's go. And he, you see him kind of, and as he's drinking his ale, he sees you and stands up, still drinking <laughs> his ale. ale, and like and like just t- like downs the whole thing. <laughs> belches and puts it down and just gives you that same fierce look. And I, I point at him and I point to the pit. <laughs> he looks at his buddies around him and goes, <laughs> Why does everyone have to spit here? Uh, and he just starts striding. I, like, I see him like, kind of like fully stand up. He also kind of has to duck his head down a little bit as he's walking towards the pit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I go towards the pit as well. I, but, but, fully, but fully don't acknowledge that my chair is still there and just run over my chair, potentially breaking it. <laughs> Roll me a dexterity saving. <laughs> right, outstanding, <laughs> outstanding. Yeah. Oh, we're boy. gonna show up to our meeting, beat to shit, shit <laughs> absolutely fucking drunk off our asses. 
We're gonna be like, oh my god, let's go steal a tablet. You're that's so a, happy you hired us. That's a good old. <laughs> Isn't that the way the best team build, building exercises go? We want to be friends. That is a good old seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. So you don't you don't fall flat on your face. <laughs> you do stumble a bit, and you see this dragon boar go <laughs> as he's striding over. I and he just up. gets to the edge of the pit, and he's like doing all the stretches, waiting for you to come. Um, I, ca- I cast minor illusion to make the sound of ding ding. Incredible. Uh, <laughs> Leonidas uh, kind of like haunches his, gets himself ready, and then just like runs full speed, a la a la running into the water in in the uh, one shots. Uh, just runs full speed into the dragon board. Oh, and, you... and and tackles him. Okay. All right. Yeah. You just just <laughs> he sees you start running. I need you to roll me a. It's gonna be a strength contest. So just roll me a strength contest, my dude. Oh, I am. Oh boy. Uh. 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 Sixteen. Natural twenty. Oh. <laughs> so he, you come up, and you you connect with it. But suddenly your body isn't moving where you thought it would. And he like judo reverses you and just, and you just, next thing you know, you're like flat against the mud, kind of sinking in a little bit, Uh, just looking up, just not knowing how you got there. And you see this dragon will go, this is going to be good. And he just jumps down into it. His big feet hit the ground and like sink into the mud like a few inches. Uh, I get back up and I uh, try it again. <laughs> uh, as you're getting up, the dwarf, that big pot bellied dwarf, comes up to the edge and he goes, All right, how are we having this fight? Are we doing bar knuckles? Or are we doing uh, weapons? Weapons. It just went. His nationality shifted. <laughs> <laughs> um, I weapons. <laughs> Every time you speak, weapons. it's weapons. a different accent. You know, he's gonna be Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's all. <laughs> weapons. <laughs> Give the weapons. Get to the mud pit. Get to the mud pit. Yes. Um. He looks. He looks, and he's like, looks at the two of you, and he's like, "What weapons do you agree on?" I'd like my uh, my great sword. Uh, you see the dragonborn kind of look around and go, <laughs> and he goes, "Hey, grab me, Bertha." And one of his companions comes up dragging this big old great axe and just kind of tosses it down to him. Uh, Leo, sweetie, speak. can we please not um, kill anyone in our first bar? We do have one more to go to. Good enough the for one you all. Honey. Uh, the dwarf speaks up and he goes, All right. To the death or just first blood. To the death. <laughs> everybody's kind of surprised, like kind of looks around and goes, "Oh!" And now, like everybody in the bar is like, "Oh yeah!" Oh, and like coming up to watch. Uh, and this this dragonborn kind of looks at you and like rolls his shoulders and just is like now holding his big like it's like a six foot axe in his hand, just ready. While they're standing there in the mud pit, I'd love to quietly just see if I can focus myself enough to just affect Leonidas' mane and his hair, and I'm going to cast Prestidigitation to, like, let his mane, like, billow in the in, in a wind that isn't there, as if standing on a dune at the edge of a battle. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'm I'm down for that. And with this, because I think this is fun, uh, Leonidas, roll me an intimidation check with advantage because of the prestidigitation. Because the Beyonce main. Yes. 
<laughs> because you're looking fabulous. Thank you for advantage, because I am not good at that. But here we go. Uh, okay. It's Leonardo uh, sponsored. Twelve. Twelve. With that's with advantage. I have a minus two in it, intimidation. Well, you know what? The Dragonborn rolled very poorly as well. So we're going to roll initiative, and he's going to have disadvantage. Great. First combat. Oh, oh yeah, first combat. Okay. Hell yeah. First In a pit in the back end of a bar. To the death. I'm just going <laughs> to say, if you death. die, we literally cannot help you. Well, it'll be okay. Um, 14. 14? All right. Uh, got a four. So you're up, my king. Uh, I I take out my great sword, and I uh, attack. I take it out, and I take both hands, and I just swipe at him with the great sword, and I will. Okay. Roll, uh, roll me your attack then. Um, sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Let's pull up. I'm just pulling up his uh. Where does stats go? There we go. While this is happening, I lean over to the three that are left that are not in the fighting pit and I say, uh, are any of you this? Uh, if you have any of these anger management issues like this, I think it's better to talk to a professional than to do this. Uh, so just let me know and maybe we can find somebody for you in the city. And uh, we might need to uh, have a conversation with our new friend, Leo, about some things he might have buried deep. We are already partaking in the thing that I do to uh, calm my anger management. Ah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh no, go ahead, my bud. I was. Just, I only fight when necessary, so there's none of that for me, and oh. I'm not quite an angry person, so no worries from here. Uh, is this what old pits are used for, out here? No. Maybe just the mud ones. That's fair. Okay. All right, you got what, uh, Leonidas, on your attack? Uh, uh, 16. 16, all right. With that 16, you just hit. Roll for damage. Ooh. Is this guy wearing any armor, or is that just where he's at? I kind of imagine it's like Pancration, where everybody's just naked. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's wearing this basic leather armor. That's 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. All right. I'd be dead. Takes 11... I'd also be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Takes 11 points of damage, but you see it goes like into his shoulder and like come in just kind of... And as a, as a bonus action, I'd like to use Daunting Roar, uh, which is uh, any creature of my choice, which will be big, big dragonborn, has to roll a wisdom saving throw or be frightened. Uh, wisdom saving throw be frightened. All right, what's the DC? Uh, 14. Okay. Roll the seven, so it fails, so it is frightened of you. Um, so as you like stick it in, though, just your mouth opens up, showing your fangs. You see him kind of like his eyes are like realizing he's like, Oh, shit. Uh, with that, he's just gonna try to make an attack on you. Uh, uh, Everyone has. finish your drinks fast because I think we might need to move after this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So a great axe does. Where's a great axe? Anybody know how much a great axe is off the uh, It's a D12. I don't remember. It's a D12. D12? Plus, yeah, All right. Yep. Okay. Gold star. Theo, yeah, thanks, Will. You're kind. Uh, does a 12 beat your armor? Oh, he's disadvantaged. Never mind. Does a seven beat your armor class? Mm, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he goes to like do like a lower swipe, and you just kind of just like whoosh, even in the mud and like the the difficult terrain that it is, you are able to jump out of the way and dodge that axe swing as it arcs towards you. Uh, and he comes up and he's back 
like ready to like kind of more in like a defensive position ready with the axe uh i will uh swing at him again all right roll attack is this the kind of work we're going to be doing that, you know that's... i would like to say no but it seems like it. that's a seven so that a seven yeah all right with that seven you go and you swing and he just parries it with his axe just whoosh, and he's gonna come up and try to hit you does he save for this frightened every turn uh oh um a hold please I think so. It maybe. says he becomes or becomes frightened until the end of your next turn. Okay, so he's no longer frightened. Right. Uh, so he has regular attack. Uh, it's going to roll the hit shield. Hey, oh, does a 14 beat your armor class? Nope. Damn. All right. He goes and he just, in like, after parrying it, he kind of comes up and like brings it back up to try to get it on the chin. And you just, you just parry it right back. Uh, just kind of like a ching ching. On this two mo movements, back to you. Oh, I'm gonna swing again. I'm gonna swing again. Oh, finish my drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a um, twenty-four. That's gonna hit, big dog, <laughs> for damage. Uh, I'm going to. That's talk. nine points of damage. Nine. All right, with that nine points of damage, you hurting but still up you just you kind of get him a good a good solid nick across the side and he goes Argh. uh and now it is his turn tap reugen on the shoulder and um in elven uh do you still have the the not poison i do may i yes <laughs> and i'm gonna take another Similarly sized swing to my first. Out of okay, that. having with the comparison, just like the this is camera B over on you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, with the comparison from the uh, the hard stuff, this is a lot of flavor, and you're like, it still has that kind of burn to it, but it's not nearly as unpleasant. It still doesn't necessarily taste good to you, but you can tell like, oh, this is better. <laughs> Hand it back. Definitely not poison. I, I, I can see. Yeah, sip number nine. One to ten, it's going to taste good. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> okay. So back to the fight. Uh, uh, and he, then, that's his turn. Oh, go ahead. His turn, yeah. big dog. Yeah. Uh, he's going to set up <clears throat> and do this fire breath at you. And kind of, it's going to kind of envelop. I need you to roll me a dexterity saving throw. We're going to burn down the fucking pub. What'd you get? Oh God. Uh a five. A five? You're gonna take full damage. That is a forty-six. Forty-six? Oh. We're level one. Do we have a healer? No. Absolutely. No. <laughs> We don't have a healer. Oh, we're done. You're, gonna, yeah, that's we're <laughs> you're the one picking the fight. Yeah, <laughs> you're lucky. You take ten points of fire damage as this fire like just directly hits you, impacts you, and you just. Oh. Okay. You still you still good, Doc? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> that could have okay. been way worse. <laughs> it's your turn. It could have been. It could have been. It could have been way worse. Been. I rolled poorly. <laughs> Have been done. Uh, <laughs> oh, this dies right here. Yeah, this dies. I mean, here we are. Uh, I'm going to. I rolled an attack, and it is a uh, 23. 23. All right. With that 23, you hit. Roll for damage. Okay. 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 Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, that's 13 points of damage. <laughs> It's all yours, Dan. Mm. Uh, uh, Leonidas gets is on fire and looks down and goes, ow. And then <laughs> goes like this at, around and swipes and cuts off his head. Jesus. You As this to... happens, I grab my friend's <laughs> wrists and lift us up and we start for the door. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> on that, you hear like people go, oh! 
oh, as the the head into the mud and kind of sinks in a little bit. Um, the dwarf kind of looks around and goes, "It's all yours." <laughs> It's not a decision that it changes every time he speaks. Four four, yeah. <laughs> take uh, Bertha. <laughs> you take. You get the Bertha if you want. Um, Leonidas has a moment where he looks down at the head, and he tongues kind of, hanging out, mouths open, smile on the face, and he kind of like almost like almost like comes out of what. Like instant, like you know that moment when you're you're drinking, you instantly become sober because of something. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. Um, he like instantly becomes sober and goes, "Okay," and then walks out and walks out of the thing. Do you take anything from him or just leave no, the body? Absolutely not. Okay, you just you climb out of the pit. You got mud on yourself, and you see your friends over by the door looking at you. And I just walk, like, walk out. Like, don't even, like, 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 maybe even walk through them and just need to walk outside. Shit, okay. Yeah. You just, you bolt. And you see, like, as you're walking through the crowd of people who kind of gather, there's, like, they're, they're like, trading gold. Seems like some bets were placed. Uh, and you don't get the sense that uh, maybe a fight to the death happens a lot. But people have died in this place before. You get that sense walking through them. This place is haunted. <laughs> There's a lot of day this place, here. This place is, is cursed. 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 <laughs> this place is cursed. <laughs> Mummy like returns. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Uh, you bust through the door. Uh, everybody else you see Leonidas just bolt out. Uh, and, do we follow I mean, him? Do we let him walk it off? Well, at this point, we can definitely leave here. Um, I agree. We don't exactly have to follow him, but we do have to leave here. Um, Callias, let us show you a better pup. Absolutely. Yes. People Leo, don't die in these places often. Hopefully not, but I've never been there. Have any of you? No. The, the right. one up, is it, it the one, are you referring to the one in, um, Upper Camden. Sure. Yeah. So it is you guys, nice. Yeah, you guys being here for a while, I'll let you just fill you in. There's two other main tavern pubs. Uh, there is the Sapphire um, Brasserie, uh, and then there is the Cottonmouth Saloon. The Sapphire Brasserie is in Upper Camden. Uh, it is, as Ember knows, lavish, expensive. Nice. It is along the uh, the river walk, also the Doge's Promenade, which is one of the main roads in Camden Mesa. Uh, and Doge. from where you are, from where you are, not too far of a walk. The Doge's Promenade is just um, the main street over from the mud, the mud, uh, mudway, mud lane. Mudway. Any promenade. Why do you guys say that we just? Waltz up the Doge Promenade and, um, and go to the Sapphire Brazier. Um, Le- Leonidas is outside, <laughs> and he's uh, he's kind of just like standing and looking at the ground. Uh, he doesn't uh, he sees he doesn't see the people his, his, the rest of the people come out. He doesn't follow them if they leave. Uh, do I notice this change in demeanor? Uh, I would say he's not trying to hide it, so absolutely, everybody takes notice. Uh, I'm just sort of going to go up and... How tall are you again? 6'10". Yeah, okay. I'm going to go up and you're like a foot taller than I am. A foot, over a foot taller than I am. A foot and an inch. Uh, I'm just going to like tug at some of the fur on your elbow. I am on sip 10 now. Good. Uh, I have to get 10 more in. We're going that way. I'll be there in a bit. 
I thought you said you had my back. If you weren't walking that way, who have my back? And I am supposed to have yours, am I not? I need a minute. Okay. And I'll just sit. Leonidas notices him. And then goes back. But but um, like the smallest, the smallest, like just like slight more bit of calm comes to him. I, I like, do believe that they know where we're going. So if we want to just take a meet us there. Yeah, they look like they're they're moving a little bit. Yeah, they can catch up. Just come meet us. From under Bye. the auspices of the cloak, like a little. Okay. How uh, old do you think that that kid? Is it weird if I call them a kid? Kalias? I would say anywhere between eight and three hundred. Ah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm just, not quite just... sure. Well, it's going to be fun to introduce him, them, to the world. I quite agree. Okay. You guys uh, make your way over to the Doge's Promenade. Uh, this one is also called the Lower Promenade when you're in Lower Camden Mesa, so it's not the whole mouthful of a street title. Uh, as you get to the cliff edge, you see that there are two modes to uh, ascend. There is a pretty considerable switchback trail that as you look at it, it's going to take like, it's like a 15 minute hike to get all the way to the top of it. Or there is a large platform like elevator that is connected to a winch that you see for a price you could ascend. How, what's the price? Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if I want to. You see there's a an uh, elevator master kind of sitting by this like entry way to the platform itself. Hello, good fellow. How are you on this lovely evening? This elven individual looks towards you and goes, Hey, uh, uh, fine. Uh, you looking to take the elevator? Actually, we just came down off of it. We, we, we completely forgot our, um, our friend up there. So we just need to go uh, quickly up and then we'll be right back down. They're really, really uh, drunk and uh, we're worried that they're, they're going to fall off the cliff or they're going to get Honestly, lost. Honestly, if we wait a minute, we might start hearing the scream and then we'll hear the, 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 the kathwack. Have you ever heard the body? The body? The ground. Yeah, have you ever heard a body hit the ground? It's not it's, something I, it's, I recommend. He, his eyes early. get a little wide. Roll me a percep, uh, persuasion check with advantage since you assisted him. Persuasion? Yeah, persuasion. That's a uh, 16. 16? Okay. And can you roll me a deception on top of it? Yeah, baby. Do I get that with advantage as well? Uh, no. Fuck you. Uh, 14. 14? All right. Well, uh, with the 14, you see him, his eyes get really wide. And he's like, oh, um, yeah, 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 um, yeah I can send it up right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go, get on it. What, we'll what see you in just a moment. He, like, is confused. And he's like, aren't you getting on? We get on. Okay. Oh, you, uh, and, if, and, if a, and if a giant lion... And a, a small other being comes walking up. They're they're in they're with us. Um, it's the small being is the uh, is the child of the person that we're going to get. So just please make sure that they're okay and that they get up safely as well. Can you do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, sure. What is your name? Uh, Keith. Keith with a K or Keith with a C? Keith with a K. Come on. Good. Keith. Thank you. Yeah. I pat his face. He's like very confused. And he's like, can you go up now? Yes. Okay. And he just like uh, just pulls this lever and you hear the, the, the tick, 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 tick. And you guys start to raise straight up. Nicely done there. Yeah, that was great. Why, thank you. I, I believe I would not like to pay for anything that I don't 
have to exactly. That's the, the mantra I live by. You know, I like that. I like I that too. a lot. I, I think I'm going to stick around with you for a while. <laughs> uh, so hear. the 15 minute ride turns into a uh, just about five minute ride. Uh, as you guys slowly ascend, you get a nice view of Lower Camden Mesa. Even as you get to the top, it is a clearer day, so you can just see the ocean and Camden Wharf glittering in the distance. And you guys up to the top. If I was a chaotic evil alignment, I would find somebody and push them off. Jesus But I'm Christ. not, but I'm not, <laughs> but I'm not. Mm. That was Kyle. <laughs> Is Kyle? Kyle's chaotic evil. Okay, Kyle, is chaotic. Chaotic. <laughs> Kyle wants to kill a random person. It would be, okay, if I had a powerful spell to make it look like there was a falling body, that would be funny. But I don't, so I would have to use a, a, a being. We'll come back when you're like level 20, and then you can do it. Yeah. We'll find Keith and- For the lols. I'll make a, I'll make a simac- uh, Simulacrum. Simulacrum. Oh, and it would be funny if the simulacrum was Keith. <gasps> it's always Keith. The decoy has to be Keith from now <laughs> to the end of time. He sees the body and goes, <gasps> I'm writing this, I'm writing this down now. You, ha you do have to do that. Yeah. Yes. Oh God. You, what you've done, Woody, is now you've created a, a like multiversal concept of like, of Keith. The, the Keith. Yeah, guys, I have to change my campaign notes then. You, you just cracked it. Oh, that's it. We cracked the Keith. Cracked my Keith code. Cracked my Keith code. Uh, it sounds like you're saying Keith code, but it's yeah, Keith code. <laughs> like, oh. I wrote in my notes, Keith dead body prank. And then in parentheses, I put long con. <laughs> Go back to that while you're under the influence oh, of anything con. and see if you can figure that out. <laughs> okay, you guys get to the top. You are now in... Upper Camden. The vibe completely changes. Whereas in Lower Camden, there's a lot of wooden buildings, a lot of cheaply made buildings. Uh, if there is, if it is made out of uh, anything that's not wood, it's more of like bricks or clay or something like that. Here, stone, marble, beautiful buildings, um, all arranged in a neat line. Not always the same size, but there is a definite plan to this upper area. It almost seems as the road kind of curves, the buildings curve with it, and it's very pleasing. Whereas in Lower Camden, it's just thrown. They're like, they, they make it fit. So you guys can follow the, there's a small, smaller road along the edge of the cliff that goes straight to the Sapphire Brasserie. Uh, it is a large domed building with a slight uh, antechamber attached to it. That is the entrance. And it's right next to the river and it overlooks the coast. Are we now, dressed well enough to go in there? I would say I am. Um, maybe we can pretend, though, that you just like got off the road and you're still in your road clothes. We kind of did, so I guess it's not kind of false. Okay, well, uh, you lead the way there, fearless, charismatic leader. All right. Okay, you make your way up to the entrance. You see there is the uh, door person, a Goliath with a uh, suit on, nicely trimmed, large chest. He sees you and he goes, Oh, welcome. You have returned? Actually, we are just entering. It is nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. I'm trying not to be offended by this, but my name is Frederick Von Pounce. I am the Duke. Von Pounce? Oh, yes. Um, roll me a persuasion check. 
Not deception? Not deception. Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, 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 just deception. I'm sorry. Fred 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 deception. Is that really who you are? Since, Von since, Von Frederick, <laughs> since Frederick Von Pounce is your alter ego, roll with advantage. Oh my God. Von Pounce? That's Von so adorable. <laughs> 19. Mm. 19. So it goes... Oh, yes, um, Mr. Pounce. Yes, um, le- uh, my deepest, deepest apologies. It has been a... Please call me Frederick. Uh, well, Frederick. Um, what was your name? Um, my name is Archibald. Or I guess Open you- the door, Archibald. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, he opens this door. It's this like, beautiful, looks like a walnut kind of... A uh, curved door at the top. I don't know what the name for those doors are, uh, but it's very beautiful. Opens it up, and it's as it opens up, it's this antechamber that has all these cushions. And as you go to the center, you see a large circular, like bar in the center, a massive chandelier hanging down from this domed building. And then along the upper level, you see all these little rooms and doors and people sitting on on bistro tables and sipping these different liquors and cocktails and wine and on the lower area is just seating and there's wait uh waiters and waitresses with doing bottle service walking around and the smell of this roses and incense hits your face and it's just really lovely he's really uh. that man well, this is a bit of a this is a bit of an upgrade from bricks. Uh, sh- shall we get some drinks and uh, find a nice little place to sit while we wait for our other uh, feline companion and the small one? Sure. Yeah, let's yes. do that. Let's get something that's that maybe Clayus will uh, enjoy a little more. Something that doesn't have floating bits in it. That's <laughs> yeah. that's the standard Great. we're going for. Great stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I I I point I point at a um a, a like small table that we can kind of like gather at, and then I'll I'll go up to the bar. All right. Uh, you easily find this kind of nice cushioned circular table. Uh, the bar you actually see is manned at the moment by the proprietor of said establishment, and you have seen her before. She goes by, since you've been here a couple times, Ember, uh, she goes by the name of Madame Augustine. And uh, she is the proprietor of the Sapphire Brasserie. Can you describe what she looks like with a name like that, please? Yeah, uh, she's a little bit uh, older in age, human. Uh, she has tan skin, this uh, dark hair, but you see there's a little bit of gray coming in, but it's very like an elegant age. Like she's aging love, like perfectly. Uh, s- s- still snatched. And uh, she has just these nice, like bright green eyes, uh, a couple piercings, like one on her nose, one on her eyebrow, a couple on her ears. Hair is just swept back. And right now, as you are approaching her, she is leaning over the counter, um, showing the, it looks like a couple, a bottle of wine. Well, good evening, you beautiful woman. She um, looks over to you and goes, here you are. Yes, and you are? You do not recognize me. I am sorry, I see many people. Um, You do seem familiar. Uh, Have you frequented this establishment before? Yes, I frequent here quite for some time, but I've only been in town for a few uh, days, so you might not uh, see me all the time. I usually just come in and speak to some. I have not come up to bar yet, but now I come up to bar. Uh, My name is Frederick von Pounce. I'm a duke. And I show her my my ring with the seal of a uh, with a royal seal on it. Uh, she grabs your hand and she kisses it. They say enchanting to meet your acquaintance, my duke. Now, um, where are you a duke of, per se? 
Have you ever been to Redan? Hmm, I can say I have. I heard it is beautiful many parts of the year. It's quite nice. That is where I have Duke. Session one, everyone. I'm crying. Oh no! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Oh, that's our. That's our. That's the uh, name of the of the episode. That's where I have Duke. <laughs> my Duke. <laughs> oh God. God. Oh wow. Okay. <sighs> well, she goes. Well, that is um, quite impressive. Uh, maybe if I ever make the trip out, I will go see your, uh, Dochi. Now. Let if you make I... it out, please let them know your name so that they say it to me, so that you can be escorted directly to the suite. She kind of like, okay, all right. Now what can I get for you, my duke? I would love to start tab. My friends are over there. We are going to be here for a little while, but we are definitely coming back. Um, I would like to start tab. All right. Um, I will say it is um, company policy to start a tab. Uh, there needs to be some sort of collateral to begin with. What collateral could you possibly need that I do not have? Um, your ring. He looks grossly offended. She goes, oh. uh, Never mind. Um, how about um, you just sign a document saying it is up and up? I would love to. Show me document. Uh, she just reaches under, uh, and as like, she pulls it out, you see this like quill floating in midair, writing vigorously. Rita Skeeter? <laughs> Very Rita Skeeter-esque. <laughs> uh, and just <laughs> writing on it, just like, it just says like, like upon your honor as a duke, uh, Von Pounce, you uphold this tab and you'll pay it in good faith. I sign it. Okay. Uh, she says, no, that the nasty business is over. She like rolls can it I up. Keep, can I keep pen? <laughs> no, no, no. And my apologies, it is mine. I had it made special. If you wish to get something similar, I would suggest going to uh, the Widgetist's warehouse or just Widgetist's way. Maybe there are some fun trinkets you can find there. You are new thank to you. the city. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, please send someone over to get drinks for my friends. And I walk away. Okay, she just she just kind of bows her head and she you see her kind of tuck the parchment into her bosom and she just kind of shakes and goes off and does her own thing. I wrote on, on the paper in really like fancy, elegant scripts, I wrote, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> but it, okay. it's it's really hard to tell. Like it's it's like it's like lot. fancy doctor signature. It's like all the letters are over each other too, and it's like all flourishy. <laughs> She's like, it'll it'll make Mash. no sense to anybody, but I'll know. Okay, I love it. Uh all right. So you go head back to your friends, and at this point, let's uh Transition back to our other friends who are left behind. Uh, moments pass. You're sitting there or standing there, Leonidas. What do you do? Um, I look down at Callias and I say, Have you ever lost someone that you love more than anything in your entire life? Uh, something like that, but I don't, I, I don't know. Have you? Yes. And is that why you? It's part of it. I have trouble with speaking and knowing when to do things that I used to do 
and knowing when not to do them. And for a lot of my life, I would do that every night. And I would never lose. Well, do you like not losing? when that is what you win. <laughs> sure. Mm. But I know I know that I shouldn't do it. And I know that I need to stop. I'm just so sad and in and, and so much pain that I can't. When I am, um, when I was, frustrated I used to go and go out and hunt and I would say it was for dinner or for tomorrow's dinner or for a dinner in three weeks but I would just go to hunt but uh, I think it is important to remember that you shouldn't hunt unless you plan on doing something with the prey not to hunt just for the sake of the hunt I think, does that, is that, I'm sorry, I did not mean to, if that, does that make? Why can you speak the tongue of the serpents? The group, the tribe that I grew up in, had a man who spoke what we speak. And as a young boy, I had trouble speaking, as I do today. I'm, I'm, I don't know how to interact with people, and so I hurt them, or I fight them, because I feel as if that will be better. And he taught me how to do that and in it, but he would only speak to me in that language. So I learned it. Hmm. I, un I, I don't know how to do those things either. I think I thought I did, but not here. Not here. I stand up. Maybe we can help each other in getting better at talking and doing all of this, this, these things that people seem to do out here. Yes. And, and please help me find who I'm looking for. Do, do we know who you were looking for? I missed. And he turns around and starts walking. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna be at, be at coattails distance as we okay. track up probably the rest of the path. We saw where you they. You guys walked, make your way. Right? Yeah, we. Yeah. yeah, and you guys kind of know where they're going. Uh, you guys make your way, and you see there's the switchbacks, or there's the elevator. Uh. Do we walk up to the elevator? What or is that? You can, if you want to take the elevator up, you could, yeah. Yeah. I walk okay. up to the elevator. You walk up and you see this, like, kind of like nervously breathing individual. Um, he sees you two and he kind of clocks you and goes, Oh my God. Um, hi. Um, um, Everything is okay. Um, just just get on the elevator and and uh, hopefully everything's okay up there. Um, and looks to you, Clarice, like like they're gonna be okay. They're gonna be fine. All right. <laughs> I look at Callias and I go, "Does he seem weird to you?" <laughs> and this is in Draconic, yeah, also <laughs> in front of this guy. We always, yeah. I assume that we yeah, always yeah, are yeah. speaking great, Draconic. Great, 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 yeah. great, yeah. perfect. I don't know what he's talking about, 
but he seems very nervous and a little sweaty. <laughs> People are nervous around me. All right, let's get on the elevator. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Welcome. What? It... Hold my hand. Uh, maybe next time. And I'm just going to run into the elevator and like put my hands in my co- in my cloak. <laughs> okay. Uh, and as you guys get on the elevator, like you just step on the guy's like, okay. And, and you see, as you guys are going up, you see him just very much, oh, just like very stressed out. Um, and you guys, five minutes. Not a not a not a word is spoken on that elevator <laughs> from any of the three people that are on the elevator. Uh, he's not so he's there are two. There's an up uh, one up above and one below. Oh okay okay. Um and uh, he's just an operator. Oh. There's a few other groups of people on there who are just were kind of waiting, and they seem to have been waiting for a long time, and very relieved when it started going up. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. 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 Yes. Uh. I definitely am not comfortable with being raised into the air up the side of a cliff on whatever is happening here. So oh. just very. It's just an elevator. You say that as if I'm supposed to know what that means. Well, it will, it will stop eventually. Yes, please. And then we'll get off it. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes and you're up. Uh, you guys follow the road towards the Sapphire Brasserie and you get to the front door with the doorman. Uh, same large, bald Goliath in a nice trim suit. He goes, um, he sees you, Leonidas. Um, uh, hello, sir. I'm terribly sorry. There is a dress code. Okay. You're covered in mud. You're not wrong. Uh, I, at that, I will just turn and look him up and down. Uh, and I will start, as much as I think I am able, just patting down the air in front of Leonidas, casting press the digitation as I go to clean each cubic foot of him. <laughs> okay. With it. Uh, you like the the dust the mud kind of dries out and turns to dust and falls off leaving leonidas kind of poofy <laughs> like almost like he just took a bath uh <clears throat> but he is uh, no longer muddy and archibald looks at him and goes um well i guess he is meeting the code now um go right ahead you two and pulls the door open for you and you can enter and you find your friends sitting there and what did you guys order there's a there was a uh a, a, a bottle boy came over and he asked what you would like to drink three of you drinking what'd you order for the group i would love to start off the night with a nice oaky red he just says right away sir in moves over to like go get the red and he like uncorks it and does like this gives you the the cork to smell and like lets you taste it the insignia you recognize it it is actually one of the reds from the winery you visited um and their friend. their symbol is like two roses intertwined oh. uh, mm-hmm. uh and uh he says here you are, a local red, and like give, puts the bottle down, and like counts everybody. He's like, "Would you like a second bottle?" I would love one. Mm-hmm. Goes to like the cart that he has that has all like the drinks that he kind of walks around with, like kind of like a the dessert cart at like one of those like old, like not old, but like family Italian restaurants, uh, and pulls <laughs> it out, gives it to you, and says, eh, "Anything else?" I, uh, yeah. I read. Oh, so you. No, you go, Don. Just one question. Do you have any uh, raw meat? We have some aged slices, a charcuterie board, if you wish. Yeah, I'll take that. 
All right. Um, that will be right out. One of our chefs will prepare it. And uh, he kind of floats away with his I, cart. I, before he leaves, I, <clears throat> I, I sneak a, a gold piece, one gold piece into his pocket and say, thank you very much. He just sees you and just gives you a wink and moves, moves on. Uh, all right. And you guys see as after that happens, Leonidas and Callias come into view. Oi, come sit down. How was your little walk, your little chat? There was something that took us up, up the wall. Oh, how how was Keith? Did he help you? Was he amenable? What 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 happened? Sweaty. Who's Keith? He was sweat. <laughs> Good. Good. Mostly. No. If it was the sweaty one, then yes, he 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 was helpful. How are you doing now, uh, Leonidas? I'm fine. I apologize for killing that person. Don't have to apologize to, to me or us. That. Just apologize to their family. Well, I'll never meet their family. A very good point. Ooh, never say never. Okay. Well. Um, Callias, I think you might like this more. And I slide uh, a glass with the wine over to them. What color is the wine? It's a deep red. It looks more familiar, certainly. Does it? Which one does it taste more like? The one in the bottle, or the one, uh, the one that hurt? I would say closer to the bottle, but also not at all the bottle. Just, just take a tiny, tiny sip. It's gonna taste like old berries. Oh, old berries! I can do. I've had many old berries. Okay. Will you? Yes, old berries. I'll take it and just like. As if it was like a stew or something, like the, the cup in both hands, like with the stem in the middle and just like knock okay. like a glug of it back. All right. Uh, the first sen like sensory is that very, the oakiness hits you first. Uh, and then that nice kind of like rich tannin hits you as well. Uh, and then, but then it is a nice smooth fruity finish. Drink this, <clears throat> have it right here. This is much better. Hmm. Sip, sip 11, you were not wrong. This is much. We can do this. Now Take. you've, well, you've had a bit of a break from drinking, so I'm gonna say you don't have to roll yet. Um, okay. Uh, it's only been like five drinking. minutes. Yeah, you'll be, you've been drinking for a bit. So, yeah. uh, do, you, do you guys continue to talk? So, um, are you really a duke? Absolutely not, darling, but please don't raise your voice again. Oh, gee, all right. <laughs> are you really from uh, Redan? Absolutely not, darling, but would you please stop asking these questions while the uh, people are still around? Okay, he's, 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 okay, I'll let you in. It's easy to get what you want if you s use a little subterfuge with the higher ups and grease the palms of the lower downs, if you catch my drift. Why would you do that? I'm going to assume you did not understand the metaphor. I give money to the l poor people because they'll like me more. And we use grease as money now or later? Later. Later. Okay. Okay. Queen's So you make fools of people. Excuse me. You heard what I said. No, I'm sorry. I, I actually could not hear you. you. You're still covered in mud. No, I'm clean. No, just <gasps> right, right on your shoulder, right there. 
what's on my shoulder. Made you look. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, um, Leonidas just then just like puts his head down and doesn't say anything. No. Yikes. So, um, a toast to uh, this group of people. Ching Ching. Here's to getting some money and uh, getting, I don't know, stronger. On an adventure. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm going to learn a lot from you all. That's for sure. Seeing all your skill sets. Yes. So what are, what are all of your skill sets, I guess? They say that the team is it a well balanced team. That's my question. Well, you can do some kind of. Both of you can do some kind of magic thing. Are you mages? No. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> Don't think so. Uh, I, uh, I am a hunter. And a fisher by trade, kinda. Uh, the rest is uh, sort of. Uh, we're working that out as we go. Tradition and whatnot. Ah, uh, yes, yes, hunter. Great, thank you very much, Calais. And we've already established that you're a duke who can do magic, and you can fight really well. What about you, Ryujin? Besides having lots of booze and avoiding fights unless it's necessary, what other skills do you have? I'm really good with animals. Um, I've got a sleeping pup in my bag right here, if you want to see. Ew. Uh, and I uh, I pull out this wolf pup and show uh, the yeah. table the wolf pup. It's like... <laughs> Ember, Ember like, like shifts and like kind of moves away a little bit. And Leonidas' head turns up and feels the same and kind of just like shifts a little bit away. It's okay. It won't do anything. It's still young. Also, it's quite scared. I killed its mother in front of it. Um, it was a job. I promise it wasn't out of any kind of mean or an animosity. I had to do it. Um, but yeah. Uh, I have uh, I have these two uh, I have this this really cool weapon that I was gifted. Um, it's a double sided scimitar. Uh, it's my it's my life. Can you elaborate on that? Your life? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, I personally, I love I love adventures. I love going places. I love seeing the world. And I trained myself how to fight and. Um, there was one day I would decide I was going on a journey and I was gifted this weapon and I was told to take care of it. Like it was my life. So it is my life. Straightforward. But okay. Do, do they have a name? The pup or the weapon? Mm, mm, uh, well, <laughs> both, but preferably uh, the, the pup. I haven't named the pup yet. And the weapon, I I don't know. I wasn't told the name. Mm. Well, the pup should have a name at some point. Yeah, uh, if you guys want to help me find a name for it, uh, that'd be great. I wish we could ask it. Well, maybe we'll find someone who can. Just kind of, as you stick your nose out, it kind of just kind of licks like you a little bit. Like, like that. <laughs> Ava is such a good actor. Yeah, good she's actor. stealing the show right now, little butthead. <laughs> I don't work with kids or dogs. <laughs> I'm just going to give the pup a little scritchel behind the ear. 
if it lets me. It, it lets you, but like for a second, just like it's like, oh, playing. Ah. It's in that that like phase of puppyhood where it's just like everything is great. Oh, ah, uh, okay. Oh, um, should we finish our drinks and maybe head to the cotton mouth to get going? Can we take them to go? The bottles, I mean? Absolutely. I will meet you guys outside. Oh. Okay. All right. Do you I'll need just... help with anything? Why are you... Don't worry about it. Okay. I grab the bottle and put my arm around Callias and walk out. You guys head out? Yeah, I Ember. pick up the pup and I head out. Yep. <laughs> put him, stick him back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of had his head hanging out like. Ryujin just became a little bit more like Paris Hilton with a bag yeah, dog. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Uh, Ember? What are you doing? So is the is the proprietor still behind the bar? Yeah, you see, she's uh, uh, right now just kind of going. There's a, a crate of wine bottles have been brought to her with the intertwined rows, and she's unpacking them, like restocking. Not looking at the door. No. Um, is the is the doorman like within sight? He is outside. Uh, so you do not, from where you are, you do not see him. You see the kind of the vestibule that leads to the door and like maybe a bit of the door, but you do not see Archibald. Well, no one's looking. I I cast minor illusion um, to some, like on the other side of the room, like a, like a really, really bad fart sound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, like, it sounds like somebody just ripped ass. Okay. And 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 then I walk out the, the front door. <laughs> uh, what's the range on Minor Illusion, just so I know? Because this is a large domed building. Like it's it's large. It's like a cheesecake factory size. 30 feet. 30 feet? So 30 feet that way. Um, yeah, but like I just just away from where I'm about to walk out. Okay, and roll me a deception just to see how well, or then add, do like how we did before, deception and do arcana with it. Like do your, use your spell save or spell modifier with it. Like add my spell modifier? Yeah, do deception, but instead of adding your proficiency, which I believe is the same for you, uh, add your spell. Gonna be the same. Cause it, it's yeah. charisma. Yeah. Okay. So just, just just for flavor's sake for me. 10. A 10? You do, it's a little dry. A little, a little dry, if like... Ooh. That was a little wet, actually. Oh, it's not yeah. dry. <laughs> that was bathroom. wet, let me tell you. Well, that was what came out, so that's what that it was. was wet. But it gets the attention to it, and people go, oh! So, <laughs> like, I, I just, I power walk out. Somebody just sharded. <laughs> Somebody needs to skim that's the, that Yeah, that's the kind of part that makes you have to go <laughs> and check. <laughs> nurse, nurse the screens, nurse. nurse screens. The screens. <laughs> um, oh, no. Yeah, you do the fart, <laughs> the the good old the good old gas and gas. You know what I mean? And you head I'm on screwed. and out. Okay. I try to I try to make it like like seem as though it's coming from a person. Yeah, yeah there's like, like I, a, I a aim towards the body there. Yeah, totally. Somebody and people go, oh! It's, it was it was actually that couple that were getting the wine bottle. It seemed to be on a date, <laughs> and you made it seem like the dude shit his pants. Oh my nice. god, nice. <laughs> oh man, oh, it's on my eyeball. All right, uh, you guys head on outside. Where are you going? You heading down to the, the Colton Mouth? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'll. You guys head to the Switchbacker Elevator. Can, can we Elevator. Walk? Can we walk, please? I'll walk with you. You know what? If you drink more of this, and I hand them the bottle, you will 
be less scared of that elevator and eventually you'll conquer that fear. Trust me. Can confirm. The old be- Bettys do this? Uh-huh. Why was I not doing this? Back in... Uh, it's a dangerous thing to do, though. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. And I'm right. gonna just uncork. And, just, like... Jesus. We're gonna be drunk for <laughs> this whole campaign. I'm, I'm, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen I like have limited experience, guy. so I'm gonna do what I'm told. Uh, <laughs> peer pressure, peer pressure. Uh, and I'm gonna just, like, take a good, like... Good long glug out of the bottle. Great. Okay. Now, as we get on the elevator, okay, places everyone. You, uh, Kleiss, look like you're you're really sad and crying. Um, you might want to uh, give me the wine bottle because you you shouldn't probably be holding that. Fair, Lilith, can you pretend to be uh, dead and uh, slung over uh, Leonidas's shoulder? Absolutely. Just what? just shuffle your hair to make sure that it didn't, like he doesn't recognize you. Okay, I'll put my hair down in front of my face. Uh, I, Are you Jin? I, You're doing great. I can help. I can help. I'm just gonna like again haphazardly like pat the air around Lith and try and cast prestidigitation to make a bunch of stains somewhere in the region between blood stains and wine stains appear all over her. It, like it non-discriminately, just like in uh, everywhere. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say in, like with that. the use a little bit of the wine to kind of like as like the base of this yeah. presage- prestidigitation, just to kind of make it uh, bloom and look like this dark red stains. But I love that. Hell yeah! And I go um, and stand in front of Leonidas and I say, "Pick me up." Um, <laughs> oh, uh, okay. And I and I pick her up, and I just like with one on hand and then swing and put her on my shoulder. All right, all right, everyone, everyone. Heads down, mood somber. Don't say anything, let me handle it. Okay, uh, you guys get to the elevator attendant and it is a uh, female halfling and she kind of looks like goes, hey, uh, you guys want to take the elevator? Seeing the body. I'm so sorry, I, in my mind, we were already going down. Oh, uh, no, you, you, you like, you have to pay to go down too. Oh, fuck. I say. Do you know a man named Keith? Keith who works as the other attendant? Yes. He- I need to speak with him. It is of urgent need. Uh, okay, so urgent that you... You, ha- you can't pay? I have already paid so many times today. Look at look at her. Look at what we've paid. <laughs> uh, roll me a deception and a persuasion, please. I'm really you mean. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, all right, here we go. Persuasion. That's gonna be a uh, 15 for the persuasion and uh 21 for the deception hey oh she failed miserably so got her crit fail so she's like she kind of like kind of sees the blood stains more and goes, oh my god um yeah 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 please uh go go talk to keith uh i hope everything's i hope oh god and what like, is your name what is your name uh lily Thank you, Lily. Yeah. Let me just write down that name for myself. Uh, <laughs> Keith and Lily, the elevator people. Yes. Nice. <laughs> uh, you guys step on, and it's a pretty empty one, and she goes, <coughs> and you start getting like, tink, 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 roll down. Ready, empty? Huh? You said a pretty, is there anyone else here? Pretty empty elevator. Uh, there is a couple other individuals, just kind of like there's like benches on this elevator. It's like a large wooden platform that has like some benches and stuff. But um, there's like just like a couple people there, I'm not paying attention. I remain dead. Okay. 
and you guys five minutes get to the bottom um and as you get bottom the keith turns around and sees you and his eyes go i put my finger up Mm -hmm. What, what happened we didn't make it in time because of your fumbling and not letting us up. I'm so sorry. Keith, Keith, give me a hug. I hug him. I steal his wallet. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Roll me a sleight of hand, you son of a bitch. Ruthless. <laughs> What a wild group of people we are. <laughs> uh, 21. 21? Okay. Uh, with a 21, we'll see if he notices. He goes, oh, no, he's going to roll with a disadvantage. Oh, and he got on the crit mail. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you like, you even, you do a good job, but you do fumble a little bit. You're like, no, but he thinks you're hugging him closer. He just holds you closer. He's like, I'm so sorry. He looks at you, Calias, and then goes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I look I look him in the eyes and I grab his face and I say, it's okay. But if we ever come back here, please let us through as fast as you can. Agreed? <laughs> Roll me a persuasion check, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dirty 20. Ooh. All right, yeah. He goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll never, never hold you up again. And please tell your friends about us because this is quite, has been quite harrowing. Okay. <laughs> Have a, a good night, Keith. I'll try. <laughs> you guys just walk away. Keep going. Yes, as, yes. as we walk, I'm just going to look at him and just like. <laughs> 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 all right okay. i'm um, i'm gonna say one thing to him as we walk past too i'm just gonna say next time don't be sorry just suck less and i'm gonna move on <laughs> what the fuck guys <laughs> <laughs> orally gray we gotta, we gotta commit we gotta commit to the bit <laughs> i love it oh my god we're a bunch of shit hands oh, love it um, all See, right, you guys can... are we are we murder hobos or are we emotionally manipulative? That's that's. I'd the argue that thing. the latter is probably worse. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why not both? Sure, we, 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 you've we done killing. both today. <laughs> um, but you guys continue on, uh, and you continue down the lower promenade, take a left at Bridge Street. Over the bridge, and there in front of you, you see the Cottonmouth Saloon. It is a large square building, very much like your classic Western saloon. There's the balcony up top with people hanging out, just drinking on, on top of it. There's horses that are lashed to the, the uh, God, what's the word? The, the horse parking lot. And the it's, oh. it's, not a, it's not a stable. It's like a horse, like a hitch or something. Hitch. It's where they like wrap the. I think. The you know what's funny around. is our yeah. sister works with horses, and yeah. if she watches this, she's going to be so ashamed. It's like freaking. I don't know. Like high schools in rural places still have these things. Where it's like hitching post. Yeah, it's a hitching. Yes, a hitching post. Um, a horse parking lot. A horse parking lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a couple like there, and it, it looks busy and alive. Uh, the horses. Yes. Oh, you guys so. <laughs> push in, and you see Hugh already sitting there. Has a large table. Has a uh, a jug of some kind of alcohol, and he sees you guys, and he waves. And we'll take a quick break right there, and we'll pick up in like ten minutes, fifteen minutes, just for a pee break and to uh, stretch our legs. And we'll be back in 15 minutes, everybody.
Fuck my butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was on there. It was on there. <laughs> yeah, that was on there. That was on there. Oh! <laughs> That's how it came back in. That's Ladies hot. Gentlemen, set. Here we are. Oh, damn. We're good. All right. Oh. I, tried. Um, I tried to not have that be there, but. All right, everybody. We are right back. Uh, we will jump right back in with our party. Uh, walking into the Cottonmouth Saloon and your camp counselor, Hugh Thornton, is sitting there at a table waiting for you guys. Um, oh, <laughs> he like kind of waves you guys it was over. So, um, did you have a eventful day? Did you end up going to the mu museum? And please have a seat. Is it? Uh, no museum. Quite eventful, though. Oh, um. Well, where, where where'd you go? I'm curious. Well, we went to Bricks. We made a killing. Um, we then <laughs> went to the Brazier, and those those people were kind of uppity. Um, we had a chat with a, a lovely, lovely elevator uh, salesman associate. Oh, the the attendants. They attendant. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we came here. Uneventful. Yeah, right. Well, seems pretty. Low key, I appreciate that. Uh, we still have a uh, maybe an hour or so before we should probably go stake out the road. But um, I figured I'd 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 treat you all to a round. Uh, this stuff is just uh, their house ale. It's not too bad, rather uh, rather hoppy. But I like the hoppiness. Lean into. Pardon me. Can you say that one more time? Hoppy. No, but say the full sentence of what you just said. I like the hoppiness. Right. I lean into Lilith. Is this closer to old berries or the thing that hurt? Um, have you ever had bread? Yes. It's like sour bread why would you why would you do that mm, sometimes it tastes good depending on your palate but bread is not cheese you don't sour bread to make it better you throw it to the birds at that point you know that's a fair point why don't you give it a try and if you don't like it that's okay because you found something that you've really liked yes Yes, I did. Okay, okay. Ale! Yes, ale. Yes. Uh, go ahead, drink. Um, so, um, for those of you, as you drink, uh, for those of you who don't know, the and he kind of lowers his voice and comes in a little bit, the Longhorn Gang are usually identified via their tattoos. Um, for the most part, the tattoo is on one of the shoulders, um, kind of resting upon the deltoid for more specific location. Uh, but sometimes they can also be notated by a top hat they wear. Uh, usually it's a type of beaver and has a red sash on it. Uh, that is, um, if they do not have a tattoo, they will also be, no, like, will notate their allegiance via the top hat. Um, other than that, do you have any questions about what the plan is for the evening? So we're looking for this group. And we will know that it is that group because they're wearing top hats. Um, yes, or they will have the uh, a tattoo of a um, skull of a bull. 
So what you're saying is we're wandering about and then accosting people that we think look like the people we're looking for. Now that you say that out loud, I know it does sound rather uh, silly. Um, I'm not actually, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm down to do it. I'm just... uh, yes, um, so the individuals, I don't, I'll fill you in. The Longhorn Gang has a lot of influence here in Camden Mesa. Um, there is, they have connections that run deep and they feel comfortable enough to, even though they are uh, technically a criminal organization, to strut about and act like they own the place because here, at least in Lower Camden, they do. Uh, they are rather secretive of their locations because of their um, their leader is rather paranoid um, for some reason. But uh, they, if you see a group of them walking about, they tend to be uh, rather brutish. So, is this a mission of subtlety, then? The thing is, uh, the Longhorn Gang knows me and my sister by our faces, so we have to be subtle. However, you folks, they don't know you, at least to any real degree. Um, so, you have a little bit more freedom. That's one of the reasons why we have you. Um, you are new to the town, um, and you're relatively unknown. So that's one of the reasons why. And do you think there's just a group of them walking around with the tablet, or do you think that we'll have to follow them to where oh, it's been held? No, I, I would be rather surprised if the tablet was with this courier individual. Um, from the information we've been given, which is uh, small, but, substan um, but enough to go on, it is a a shipment of some kind containing a message. And this courier is bringing it from Camden Wharf here. And from there, we could A, find out where that safe house is because they're rather secretive of the locations of safe houses. And we can also then maybe go into the safe house. We could uh, capture the courier and uh, interrogate them. Uh, really any any sort of uh, option. I was kind of going to leave that to you to figure out exactly how you want to do that. Excuse me, is the end goal just the tablet or uh, are you seeking to uh, hunt two flocks with one arrow? Well, um, if it was up to me, uh, I would be happy if we were to take this safe house out of commission. Uh, it's one less pawn on the chessboard. But if it is safer just to do a quick snatch and grab of the courier, I'm also very okay with that. Mm. Mm. Oh, good of both. So shall we head out uh, now, in a little bit? Uh, we, yes, I mean, we have a bit of time. We, let's finish our ale. Um, there's actually rather good music going to be played here in a little bit, and I'd like to at least hear it. <laughs> the first are, you a music, are you a music connoisseur? I, I enjoy arts. I, I, I spent some time working at uh, the Citadel, the the one, the Gilded Citadel. I was an archivist there for a moment. Ah. And uh, it was always appreciative to find an old piece of music and then those individuals at the Citadel who we would then go to and they would uh, transpose it for us in either uh, our modern sort of styling or anything like that. And it was... It was nice, and I grew a, quite a fondness for it. So, yes, I am a connoisseur, I wouldn't necessarily say, because I don't, I, I couldn't tell you that, oh, yes, I like this 
uh, type of music more than this. I just, I enjoy hearing it. An astute observation. Yes, so, uh, if, I mean, if you wish to go, I'm, I'm happy to leave. There's music here always, so. But we got a bit of time. It's up to you, gang. I'd like to go. Better head start, perhaps. Yes. Yeah, I agree. That's, that's, that's correct. I, I understand, yes. Uh, probably best to relax when there isn't a job afoot. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, next one, drinks are on me and we'll have some fun here. Well, if you if you would like to stay and just catch up with us later. Uh, no, no, I, I wish to be there for the whole ordeal. Um, so, uh, finish your drinks and we shall go. Okay. And I'm just going to try without a, without uh, an example to mimic. I'm going to try shotgunning the, the ale like, mm -hmm. uh, like the United States did earlier. I am not sure how well that's going to go. Okay. Uh, roll me a because you've been drinking quite a bit, and there's been like a bit of walking in between yeah. each place. So, just roll me a Constitution saving throw for you, Callias. Mm -hmm. I slide my ale over to Leonidas. You look like you need a lot to get you going. So here, you can have mine. Mm, not sure, seven. <laughs> uh, you are, uh buzzed you have a good like your your brain's a little foggy i'm gonna say if you cast a spell you're gonna have disadvantage for the table Ooh. and by you roll twice and yeah take, yeah uh, uh okay um, actually no i lied it's your range is gonna be doubled so instead of just rolling the what is it a one if you roll a two or a one Okay. Okay. While you so are it's, sure, sure. Yeah, it's a, a little more of a chance um, for this level of drunkenness. Sounds the same. Right. Uh. Okay. Um. So I, I just sort of finish. Blink around, uh, and then assume everything I'm saying, uh, unless otherwise specified, is just in primordial. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, Any of us speak that? This one Let is a, a little Adult. different. This one, I think it places middling on the scale. Uh, definitely old berries are better, but this goes down like water, most like water of the three. I think well, we broke What did them. you put in his drink? What did you I put didn't in put there? anything in his drink. Callias. I can someone get this you. guy water? I can't no, understand no. you, Ah, uh, Fine. I am... Um, okay. In common now. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, however, in Primordial, Hugh answers like, How old are you? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Somewhere... Uh, how many summers? It has been a number of summers. Well, what, how, how many seasons do you have? No, that doesn't, enough. <laughs> That's like what you say to the, the bouncer at a club that you're trying to get into illegally. Right. <laughs> Few. Uh, and it's I'm like old very enough. A lot super bad, old enough to party. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick how, Lovin, how legit show, is this idea? Enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, we have to party. Oh my god, that's all I can. Wow. <laughs> I want Kalias played by Christopher Mintz Plus, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm thinking of like, <laughs> like we're not super bad. Uh, kick ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! I love it. Um, okay, so. You guys finish your drinks. 
you uh Hugh dust like gets up, kind of straightens his robes out, and says, um, well, it's gets moving then. And he starts to head out. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys follow him. Uh, it's not a long walk. You guys uh, walk out of the saloon. You take a left onto Bridge Street. Um, follow just a little bit, and there's uh, West Bank, uh, the West Bank Lane. And take a left on that and continue down the west bank of the river. Uh, followed a bit. There's. It's kind of getting a little bit later at night by this point. You guys have kind of taking your time at every bar and there's some time that we didn't account for there, but you just, you've been wandering about. So it's, it's evening and you come to this kind of, it's an interesting intersection. There's a small tower with a couple Camden Mesa guards. You can tell that they are Camden Mesa guards because they have the sigil of Camden Mesa, which is a, uh, it is a, Volknut, which I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's kind of the three triangles laid on each other. Not the Triforce, but like within each other. Uh, kind of interlocking with a uh, just a kind of gold ring around it. And that is the symbol, the sigil of Camden Mesa. Guards hanging out. There's no gate or anything, but this really seems to to be like the edge of town. There's a small stable, a uh, tower of guards, and you see the road leads all the way down and you can see lights, the lights of uh, and lanterns of Camden Wharf, but it's a distance away. So do we just wait for them here? What are we watching for? I feel like it might be easier or uh, we might have a better chance of spotting them if we maybe um, spread out a little bit. You know, like act act casual, but maybe like, Clias, you and Leonidas could go like, lean up against that pole over there and look like you're just hanging. And we'll, the, the, we all can just figure out like, like spread out a little bit, you know? Right. Will we watch? I don't know. Does anyone have a better idea? Oh, that, that is a good yeah, idea. Sounds lovely. He's like, no, sounds that's uh, rather what I was thinking as well. Um, so, I just everybody just keep an eye out and um, should we have a, a like a, a signal for if uh, something if we noticed them or something like that? Yes. Say, ah. Uh, what is that? Um, sorry, it's not, I have not heard that in common before. What is that? Ah. Just, just yell it really loudly, Calais, mm. and we'll understand. And if you hear it really loudly, you'll know that that's the signal. Mm. Ah. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> all right. That works for me. Um, okay, well, it's um, split up and we will keep an eye out for each other. So Hugh goes off and kind of walks up to a guard station and there's a little, there's a little like notice board on the, st on the guard station next to it. Uh, and he just kind of like acts like he's reading it and like takes out a piece of paper that he has and starts writing on it and pins it to it. Um, Ember uh, finds a semi semi central place to sit, and he takes out uh, off his back a, a small dulcimer, and he begins to tune it, like really obnoxiously. <laughs> okay, I love that. Uh, okay, and uh, okay, we'll come back to you. Uh, I and... I would actually love to. Can I? Seeing him do that, can I take a seat next to him and start doing the exact same thing on my lyre? What the fuck? What? What does everyone have an instrument? Do we have a band? I'm instrumentless. I have a horn. <laughs> okay. I have a whistle. But it's but it's for sure. But it's for sure one of those horns that doesn't. It's uh, 
a French horn without buttons. So oh, it's, it's like just a hunting horn? Like a hunting horn. That has- <laughs> so you can go up like, what, three notes? Yeah, you can, whatever yeah. you do. The Not notes. even. It's got one note. <laughs> Well, no, you can you can all, like octave oh, it, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You can like change your armature, but yeah, um, great. Yeah. So, Callias, you take out your lyre and tune it with him. Uh, Leonidas, what are you doing? I'm I'm not near them. I'm <laughs> I'm farther away from them, but I see them doing that, and I very very <laughs> kind of go <laughs> and I pull out the horn, and I kind of just. <laughs> Play it a little. <laughs> okay, Rick, I'm back to you. Uh, uh, Ryujin, what are you doing, my dog? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna find a spot to be that's not so central, where I can't be seen myself. I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna pet my pet my pup. Why does that sound like a euphemism? It sounded really, <laughs> really did, and I didn't know. <laughs> You're in a public place, oh, you sicko. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I still, I still love it. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll come back to you, uh, Lilith. How are you disguising yourself in this small entrance square? I look at all these fools with their instruments, and then kind of like side eye violin. my violin on my back, and I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> And I walk over to um, like like a little curb and I sit down mm-hmm. and pull out a journal and I'm going to just start drawing. And I'm going to start drawing uh, Callias and Amber in their tomfoolery, but I'm really, it's, it's not very good drawing because I'm, I'm trying to listen and watch for people. Okay. Um... Okay, for all of the instrument playing individuals. This is a sound hellscape. I want you to <laughs> I want you to roll me a performance check. And oh. this is going to inform how well you do is going to inform your stealth check down the road. I will say Ember cannot play the dulcimer. Oh, neither can he he is going to continue to tune it for the duration. Okay. Oh, you're that dude at the party with the guitar. Oh. Uh, I can't get like this this guitar. I can't get drop G, guys. I'm trying to get that. Anyway, G. Get, get anyway, G. here's uh here's Wonderwall. Yeah, literally that guy. Um and and I, and Leonidas really doesn't know how to use the horn. He just has it. For so fuck's it, sake. it's it's just him with his lips going. This is where the whole like bards of New York thing comes yeah. in. <laughs> I oh my God. do I do play the lyre. This is one of the things I, that I do. As Kalias <laughs> starts to play, I will let them go, and then every once in a while, kind of like pluck to see if I'm in 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 tune, but probably not. Okay. I, I, I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing. Please. I have this beautiful. It's just, it's just yeah. You just so you just you hold it up to your mouth and go ah. <laughs> you know that um, part that so, Ember did in the bar. It's coming out of the hole like now. That. Let me see, Ryman. Um, Leo is disadvantage. Man. Uh, I, got, I got an eighteen. An eighteen? Okay. All right. You uh, are going to have advantage. Um, make sure that I, yeah, it's the one tool that I know how to use. And what you get, I mean, you are not playing nine. Ember, a nine. nine okay, for performance. Those, you will have a straight roll. All right. Uh, and so for Ryujin, uh, roll me an animal handling, just kind of like a training moment to be like, yeah, I'm an animal trainer, y'all, kind of thing. Yeah. Hanging out after midnight in the square. <laughs> That was a very good roll. Um, let me, let me. Hello. Sorry, my my character sheet was not working for a second. Um, all right, here we go. That is a twenty-two. Oh hell yeah! So you you take a moment, and I'm gonna say uh, you can teach. With a 22, I'm going to give it to you. Uh, you can teach your dog one trick 
Now a trick would be like retrieve, uh, uh, like uh, you basically can like tell your dog to do like a simple task. So I'm gonna let you come up with what that is and just write that down in your character sheet somewhere. And yeah, uh, that's yours. Uh, but Where? you're gonna have advantage on your stealth check coming up. Amazing. Uh, all right, uh, and Lilith. I want you to roll me, just for like the idea of drawing, a perception check to see for your, your art, what you see. What do you perceive for your art? What do I perceive? Yeah, what do you perceive? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's a 13. 13, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, you will have a straight roll, but you, you're you just kind of like watching and you kind of are able to find some, a few of the more subtle moments that you were able to capture in your little drawing that you have. Uh, so yeah. It's neutral. All right, so the scene begins. Ember takes out his his mandolin. What is it? It's a dulcimer. A dulcimer, which is like a guitar type thing, right? Yeah. Kind of guitar -y. I like a mandolin. Oh, I always yeah. do plink, plink thing. I think maybe, oh, that's a kalimba, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind. You know, like Wait, medieval plink, plink, like plink, plink. <laughs> like a xylophone? No, no, no. I the will... thing that they play at uh, the Avatar, Avatar's last oh, scene. Oh, that's, that's a like, finger um, keyboard. It, it's, I will, it has I a will, name. I will well, say. Ember does not know what it's called, so it's fine. okay. Yeah, the the stringy thingy that you play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you you're, you start like like tuning it to where like we're like oh, that sounds kind of like a nice note together. You just kind of keep doing that. Uh, Calias, you sit down and you're like, and like as he continues to, you have more of a knowledge of music being in from where you come from. It was like a really one of the main forms of entertainment. And you are able to kind of pick out the like counter melodies or like balance out his continually changing of the the key and the tuning to kind of just like complement it a little bit. And sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does, uh, and it's rather nice. And then the occasional, <laughs> and then it's like you're you're sitting in. This brings it back to New York. Like you're sitting in one of the parks, and all the people are playing there. All the buskers are playing, and you have the one person who really shouldn't be playing, <laughs> and it's like, a <laughs> and people are like, ah, and it's like, sorry. <laughs> it's more of a didgeridoo sound. Yeah, it's yeah. not even. Um, <laughs> but uh, apart from the horn every once in a while and like sometimes you just like kind of like polish it and just make it look nice it's it's a uh, brings more of an atmosphere to this kind of entrance to the city ryujin you are training your wolf uh just kind of getting to know it and you have it will follow a command for you um all i will ask you that if you don't know what it is yet you don't have to share it unless you do uh yeah i do <clears throat> oh show me then then tell us yeah, I taught my I taught my little wolf pup how to play how to play dead. Oh. Okay. Awesome. So, like, when describe it for me, please. Lay down like, like I killed your mom. Uh, yeah, just like your mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's that's exactly it. <laughs> All right. Uh, you say like act like your mom, and it just lies down on the ground. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Okay. That's um, that's awesome. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. And Lilith, you find a nice corner and you sketch out this whole scene that you see in your journal as a keepsake. Uh, time goes by. I need everybody to roll me a stealth check, please. So and too yeah, so uh, Leonidas, do you have disadvantage? I already have disadvantage on stealth, so it's it just oh, true because your armor. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, even just just regular disadvantage. Okay. Callias, you have advantage. Ember, your straight roll. Ryujin, you have advantage. Both your straight roll. <gasps> wow. I 
I just rolled a natural 20. Ooh. I rolled it. With disadvantage, I rolled a 20 and an 18. Whoa. I know. Could have used that with the horn. <laughs> so what is that? What is that total for you? Uh, 19. 19? Okay. Ember? 11. 11. Class? 16. 16. And Lilith? 15. 15. All right, let me just add this up. Mm-hmm. Can I say maybe with that with that uh, stealth, Leonidas is smart enough to put away his horn? Uh, I'll let you. You just you just are kind of like they're cleaning it, okay. so you're able to kind of lay low, and people are like, "Oh, he's done playing." So then you were practically just spitting in it for yeah. like however long we've been standing. <laughs> uh, so you're 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 total. And this is something we didn't talk about, but I'm for group stealth. There's going to be a number that you are mm. all going to have to reach collectively to succeed, and you all have. So you you beat that number with all those rolls. Um, that's how I'm do, going to do group stealth here. Do crit fails. Uh, how to crit? Fail? Is that just a one? On that's that? just a one. That's right. just a okay. one. And maybe it uh, raises the number depending on the situation. My discretion. Uh, but just so everybody knows, that's how I'm going to do group stealth. Is there, there's a a number that you have to beat, or if another group is rolling a perception, you have to get higher than their perception. Just so it's kind of makes it fun. Beep beep beep. Um, welcome to New York. Uh, the bars. Are, the bars in New York. Okay, so time goes by. You guys have blended in. You've kind of taken some time. Uh, the lanterns are all lit, and there's a nice kind of orange glow everywhere. Roll me the perception checks to see what you see. I rolled a, a six. Six, okay. It's a 19 Ember? for me. I'm lit, sorry. all right. Ember? Natural 20. Ooh. Lit. Lilith? 12. 12. And Callias? 15. 15. All right. Uh, it's all really good. Natural 20, I'm going to give it to you. Uh, with the, uh, the higher ones, though, you see an individual riding on a horse, uh, just kind of a slow canter. And as they enter in, they check in with the guards. And something that you see, Ember, is a... A uh, bit of coin, a little small purse be exchanged between the rider and the guard. The, the guard then waves the rider on and they just start a, a very slow canter um, just down the road. I think canter is slow for horses. I should look this up. Sorry, Whitney, my sister. Trot probably uh, is where you're at. Trot. Trot, trot is. It's a very a slow trot. Uh, but with the natural 20, you do get this. You see they're wearing a top hat with a red sash. That's pretty easy to see for everybody. But you do see kind of in the vicinity that they come in and they enter. A few individuals that have sleeves pulled down. But you notice at one point somebody kind of stretched and it came up and you saw the bull skull tattoo on their shoulder. In the building that they entered? Uh, just in the square that you're in. Just basically oh. doing the same thing you are. Kind of, and they and like you kind of, you clock them and you clock the person on the horse and you see them kind of all just keeping another person on the horse, being casual about it, but they see them. And then as the horse kind of goes by, they all start to move and just kind of slowly follow. I make eye contact with my friends and I point. Let's go. Leonidas didn't see it, so he goes. Um, signal? There is a signal. Ah. I wasn't, if we're all looking at each other, just go, just follow, what? I was waiting for the signal. Uh, okay, we got it. 
Oh, I'm just assuming got... all of this is like conveyed yards away from each other. Like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> uh, I'll give it to you. You guys convey that that's the person, and with those, all the people kind of notice at least the horse with the person on it. Uh, and oh, one last thing about the horse: there is a small, looks like a, a, like a saddlebags on the side of it that are full with something. Like they're they are full saddlebags. Oh. oh, dogs! Dogs say hi. There's everybody. a dog. There's a dog in the saddle. <laughs> the dog, that's the uh, Ryujin's <laughs> dog. <laughs> um, that's the response to being told to lie like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm assuming you follow the horse. Okay, come here. Come here. Ava wants in my lap. Oh, come here. Yeah, uh, I'd say we all, we kind of, I start casually following. Okay. Uh, everybody roll me uh, stealth checks. This time they're just all straight. Neutral, I should say. Uh. 21. 21, okay. I got a, um, a 15. 15, okay. I also got a 15. Okay. It's a 23 for me. Okay. I, the rogue, got 12. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how. <laughs> wow. Wow. Even Maybe I with, need to change dice. Even with them rolling pretty well, you guys all rolled well enough to where you are more uh, you're stealth more stealthy than their perception stealthier than their perception so you're able to move with that also group just up not like you're you're just kind of going from place to place keeping the horse in your sights and the horse goes up west bank lane a bit and takes a right on viper row which is one of the outermost main roads of the city. On a scale of one to a little bit downtrodden, where is this? Where is Viper Row? Uh, Viper Row, it is more spread out. So there's some of the wooden places are larger because they're just more room. And it's kind of the more the outskirts of the built city. As for comparing it to downtroddenness, it's not as downtrodden as say near the near the mud lane. Like mud lane is definitely the or mud row. No, mud lane. Mud lane is definitely like the like sh- shanty town area cuz it's it's just the mud. Further out you're getting more towards like maybe the fields and there's maybe a little bit of like gardens and al- agriculture because of the river. Mm-hmm. So it's not as destitute or cramped it's um think of it like if it's olden times new york it's you're going a little bit like you're in brooklyn now you went across the road to brooklyn and it's not like five points Uh, okay yeah you guys continue to follow it takes a turn down viper row and goes down for a while you guys continue to follow and it gets to another square. The square here, you see come up and there's another horse that it joins. And you see them kind of look at each other, exchange some words. If you're only perception checks, maybe I will let you know what they say. Spicy. God damn it. Hey buddy, I love you too, man. That's uh, nice. just looking at the fucking sky. <laughs> <laughs> what do we all get? Uh, class? 19. 19? And Ember? 21. Okay. Region? That's a dirty 20. Lit. <laughs> Leonidas? Seven. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> Lilith? 22. 22. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. you guys, you go again, you 
are able to get higher. The you don't get everything unless did I get a natural twenty in there? I don't think so. No. Wait, what was the highest one? I forgot. Twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah, you you don't hear what the, like, you don't hear the whole thing, but you hear the one you're following say, "I'm awfully parched. Do you have a drink?" I'm awfully parched, or I'm off the parch. I'm awfully parched. Do off. you have a drink? What does a uh, off the parch mean? <laughs> off the parch. <laughs> I'm off the parch. Do you have a drink? Right, could have been from Bass. Could have been from Bass. Yeah, I'm off the parch. Off the parch. Oh, I don't know what I'm it off. is. <laughs> I'm off the parch. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're just, we're just sending the in a match. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're putting half an hour in uh, <laughs> lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you see the other one? Reply. You not hear what they say with those rolls. And the one that you've been following reaches back, takes off the saddlebag that has, it looks like three compartments on each side, and hands it to the other person on horseback, and they put it on their on their horse and all the dogs want to be on my lap. They both want to be on my lap right now. And the stars of the show. Yep. They're the stars of the show, Bailey and Ava. And you guys see the other horse, the one that you've been following, leave the city down bridge street and head east. And the other one continue west down bridge street. Yeah, I, I turn and I look at um, uh, Hugh. Yeah, oh, Hugh. 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 I turn it and I and I, I look at him. and I'm like, so do we want information or? I kind of like he as he he like kind of like walks up next to you as you guys are like kind of just like hanging out, being all stealthy mm-hmm. to kind of make it low key. He says, I think we should follow the one who has the package. But do we want the package or do we want the information about the package? We want the package. We get both from the that person with the package. I would you think know? I would think the package is going to the safe house. Uh, can you tell we've never done this before, Hugh? I, well, I'm I'm just saying that that gentleman is not going to be followed by the other gentleman. They are following the package, so I was wondering if we wanted to get information, we would go after the non-followed gentleman, but we can uh, absolutely uh, go where everyone shit. is. <laughs> it's like, shh. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's My go. vote is to follow the package. Okay. Yeah. Are, are we just going to follow him with like a yes. horde of people? Drunk? Yes. You'll, you'll <laughs> disperse. We're drunk. We're drunk. Scatter. Scatter. Um, okay. You guys continue down Bridge Bridge Street. I need you to roll me a stealth check for that. Dang, yeah. I, I'm rolling so well. Okay. Oh, Daniel. Oh, and I have disadvantage. Well, <laughs> great. That's grand. Oh, you, you don't have disadvantage anymore. No, I do on stealth. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> Clunkety clunk, clunk. clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> Looking up to the sky. Um, um that's a, a fourteen from Kalias. So seventeen from Ryujin. All right, I'm gonna need that. So fourteen from Kalias, seventeen from Ryujin. Uh, Twenty-five oh, from Lilith. Wow. <laughs> a nine from Leonidas. The rogue okay. is back at it. <laughs> Twenty-two from Ember. Okay, I'm gonna say you guys beat them. I don't have to add that up. You guys are able to, again, beat the collective perception of the other, of the uh, guard. You continue down Bridge Street, you pass the Cottonmouth Saloon. Again, this this horse is just a very small, like now, now it's just, it's just a, whatever the slowest version of horse riding is, just like, gung, 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 gung. Um, Two coconuts. <laughs> Uh, you head over the bridge and you they take a right down Mud Lane. They continue down Mud Lane and they get to where the 
the little small lake turns and like feeds into the river to the coast. And there is a another horse. Somebody ready Wait, another horse. Hmm? They just waiting there or like what's there they kind of pass on the roads going opposite directions. And they stop, they acknowledge each other, words are exchanged. And roll me perception checks to see if you hear the whole exchange. Oh, Daniel. Oh. Anybody get a good one? All right, what'd we get? Yeah. <laughs> I got uh, a oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, I got a twenty three. Okay, twenty three. Oh, thank God for Reugen. Leonidas? I got a five. <laughs> All right. Lilith? I also got a five. Oh, no. Uh, Ember? Ha, seven. Ooh. <laughs> and Goliath? Seven. <laughs> Big oof. <laughs> it pays so, to have a proficiency. You guys have no I, oh, idea. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't, I actually don't. am proficient. Oh, I'm proficient man. I'm proficient in proficiency as well. Like, I am, and it's just... I can't roll. So. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have no idea what they say to each other. You can't tell. You're a little far away. And, but you do see, you have enough to see the parcel transferred to we the other We still have eyes. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> as <laughs> the one horse oh, goes God. this way, as the horse you're following continues down Mud Lane, the new horse continues back up Mud Lane. And the new oh, horse, fuck. we've seen the package transfer. This, yep, this the, new the, horse new, the package the is on the new horse. Can Guys, I? I'm going to say, if we turn around, we're going to look suspicious as fuck. You think they're watching us? They can't see us. Can I look around to see if anybody's clocked us? Roll like, me if, if, if anyone's following us. Roll a perception check. Ooh, uh, that's a seven. Uh, to your knowledge, no. You guys, the, the streets aren't busy, but there are people around, so it's not like you are out of place. It is It is active, even at night. Oh, kitty, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's an animal show tonight. An it, is, yeah. it is an animal <laughs> show. It was our, first, like, uh, our first campaign. We'd so like to tell you to... about our offshoot of uh, the Madagascar campaign that we'll be doing on uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um, where do you, you so you guys are see the other as each other and then want to go back up the street towards Bridge Street. Follow the package? Uh, Follow you the just package. nods. He for following this package, roll me stealth checks one last time. I turn I turn down an alley and I climb onto the rooftops. Wait, full on oh. cat. Okay. Uh, then it won't help your stealth, but it's gonna help your perception down the road. Yeah. I'm just, I'm also just gonna not be on the road where everybody can see me following the horse. Yeah, gotcha. I got a natural 20. I did too. There we go. We disappear. We just whoosh. just go on. <laughs> very good because I got a, a nine. I got a I got a sixteen with I got advantage, just... which I'm which I'm pretty happy Okay. About. I was I... adding up theirs. Can I have yours now? We had a natural twenty. Two natural twenties, apparently. Two oh two natural twenties. Okay, you guys beat it. Um, oh, with just with that, with everything out of I from hearing the other ones, uh, you guys are able to continue on up, and you follow this one. You feel like the the guard has not noticed you. This is a much slower walk. They continue up about halfway up Mud Lane, and they take a right and go down the alleyways into the cluster of buildings and streets and alleys between the lower Doge's Promenade and Mud Lane. And you see them as they move their way through. There is this small triangular building uh, that they end at 
as you guys are all kind of like coming through different alleyways, being stealthy enough and being up on the roof, you see them reach this triangular building. And from one of the doors, you see a person open the door wearing a top hat, lean up against the wall. The four guards come through. The horse, the courier on the horse gets off, slings their package over their shoulder and they walk up to the person at the door and words are exchanged. Roll me perception checks. Ember, you have advantage because you have an, like kind of a higher vantage point so you can maybe read lips better. Oh. Fuck it did for me. Okay. Leonidas? That would be a crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Lilith? That's a six. Fuck yes. Ryujin? That's a 13 for me. All right. Kalias? It's a nine. Lovely. And <laughs> finally, Ember? One more nine. Nice. With advantage? Oh. You guys, you guys would have learned the <laughs> password to get in. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, good. Nope. And... <laughs> This is looking at the ground. You He's see just... them now. They the words are exchanged. They nod mm-hmm. and they all enter in, and the door closes behind them. Well, we don't need to go through the front door, do we? Nah. No. No. You see Hugh, kind of like from one of the alleys he was looking from, kind of and do a little whistle. I tried to. I didn't want to whistle, or else it destroy my mic. Uh, and kind of waves you all over to him. You all head over. So, we found the safe house. Mm-hmm. Do we just want to walk in, or how do we want to do this? Uh, I was on fire earlier, so no. Are, are there, there other entrances? Uh, we could... Just stake out the building some, but um, the windows. Uh, roll me perception check, Lilith and Ember, because you guys brought it up. We do have how many of the houses have smokestacks of the sort? Uh, all, a lot of these wooden ones, you don't. You see, like if there is a smokestack, it is in the center of the building, and it's almost like a like a longhouse. How they had those kind of mm-hmm. openings just to let the air out. Um, not necessarily like dedicated chimneys here in Mm -hmm. Lower Camden, no. Do Uh, they have one of those airing platforms? mm, Well, what did Lilith and Ember get on their perception? (laughs) What'd you get, Lilith? 13. 13. I would say you guys see enough to where with a 13, crit failed eyeball bug into your eyeball. Fuck. Uh, it's because you're all the way up there. You know, <laughs> bugs get in your teeth. I, son of a climb down. Bitch. <laughs> you see there is a small opening where you see some smoke billowing out the top of this triangular building. What about windows? There are a few. There's on the lower level, you only see one next to the door as you guys kind of do a track around just to fast forward. On the upper levels, because it seems to be like a three-story building, there is a set of like kind of large double windows on the top level and then two small windows that maybe Amber could fit in on the second level. Thank you. Um, okay, I, I turn to Ryujin and Amber. You two strike me as um, stealthy. Or stealthier than the other two lovely people in our team. What if we divided and conquered and you, my kitty cat friend, go up on the roof and try to look through the windows up there and Ryujin and I can split up and get the windows down low and kind of just like, you know, peek in and see what we can see that's going on. What would you like me and Kalias to do? I, I can think... get there if you would like. 
you can get where? Up there. Pointing to the, the like, sm- not smokestack, but the, like, longhouse aerating thing. That's great. That's great. You should do that. And Leonidas? I'm sorry, Leonidas or Leonidas? Leonidas. I'm going to call you Leo. Is that all right? Uh, uh, fine. Okay. You are our muscle down here. And if anything goes wrong, you'll be standing there ready to do exactly what you did in the pub earlier tonight. I would prefer not to kill anyone again. You know what? You don't have to kill anyone. Just, uh... No, 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 no. no. So on the job, we have no kill policy, but at a local establishment, we just lop off heads. Is that, is that what we have? About, but can we please move on? I'll kill someone if I need to. <laughs> all right. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> we'll talk about the moral um, backwardsness of this this group later. Uh, does that sound mm. good to everyone? Should we do? Let's let's uh, do a little investigating. All right. And break. Okay. So as you guys split up and move towards the safe house, we are going to end our session here this evening. And we will pick up the uh, salt uh, infiltration of the stealth house, the safe house, next week, all together with Bards of New York. <laughs> Brilliant! The Assassin's Creed. Quest. Awesome! Can yeah, you guys, we did it! Hell Session yeah! One. Session one. Session one. is so that. fun! Oh, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Were we recording? Oh no! no. Shit. Fuck! Oh. In fact, we've been doing this only for ourselves. We haven't been on Twitch for almost four hours. We'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post. Yeah, we'll just rewrite it in the script. We'll rewrite it in post. Hey, Um, thank you, everyone who is watching. Hell yeah. Who stuck with us? Thank you so, so much. Thank you, all 31 of you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Um, And and like we said at the beginning, stay tuned with our social medias and tell your friends. Check out our website. Yeah, check out the if you want to play D and D, three of our lovely players would love to DM for you. And speaking as somebody who's been a player in all three of their campaigns, they're all wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, Bards of New York. dot com. Bards of NY. Bards of NY. dot com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, There's also uh, Birds of New York. dot com. Don't get that confused. Me. They are. They're. They're. Uh, they are nice though. Um, oh, we have to change the. Uh, and huh? we'll make just, sure those links are accurate. Uh, just so everybody is aware, um, we are, ex- we are also for all you subs because I saw so many gifting subs happen in the chat today. We are working and figuring out what we are going to do for the different tiers and for our subscribers. And for those of you who gifted today, wow! Thank you so much. Yeah, That's amazing. You. Truly, so much. truly, thank you. Um, yes, and that is truly, truly awesome. Like it's uh, that's just going to help us kind of yeah. continue and grow and uh, create more things for you guys to experience. So we will have some announcements soon about what we're going to do and maybe some community events, like another Bards After Darks, whatever type things. So we'll just, just shout keep... at golf. So Yeah, we play <laughs> we play golf and answer questions or you guys can help us create NPCs or help make the world, stuff like that. Yeah, so, or if you want to be an NPC in the world. Yeah, so just we'll, we'll let announcements are soon to be coming. So, but thank you for subscribing. Thank you for getting the word out. And we love you all. Thank you for watching oh, yeah. us. And we'll see welcome, you next week. Welcome to Bars of New yeah. York. <laughs> Woo. All right, we love you guys. Let's do it again. Let's see how it just started.